Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Microphone check. That ain't even a real hold up, man. Let me get in my shit real quick. No, 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 Joe Biden. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. We are live. The Joe Budden Podcast, episode 130. I am your host, Joe Budden. To my left is Rory. Across from him is Chris. To my right is Maul. Across from him is Parks. Gentlemen, how's everyone doing? That is the first time that I knew the episode and just intro the fucking podcast correctly. It only took 130 weeks to do so. Whatever, bitch. Round of applause. (laughs) Congratulations. Round of applause for me, man. Episode 130. I'm so happy we are out of the 20s. Uh... And I will leave the applause going because it is a special day. <laughs> it is. I'm turning the applause up. Ladies and gentlemen, know why? Because it is a special day. Who wants to tell us why today is special? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Who, who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Nobody wants to do it. Oh, come on, Ma. <laughs> yes, nigga. How you like this on your birthday? Like what, nigga? Like Mo, this. Mo's How I am too cool every day? for his birthday. <laughs> Boy, this nigga is. He's too cool for a year of life. Crazy. For a year of That's life. Crazy. I'm too cool for a year of life. More. More life. How? I, I, want more li- I want more life, man. Don't be get mad because I want more life. Too cool for a birthday is wild. More. What's up, man? How old are you? I'm 36 today. No, we got to make some noise for 36. Hold up, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's make some noise for 36. Something tells me Maul has lived a life. <laughs> then, you know what I mean? Today wasn't promised. That's a fact. <laughs> we, we, we didn't know he would get here today. <laughs> That's a fact. So, not only will we fucking make some noise. Hold up, man. Because I love Maul so much. Hold up, man. Hey. Hey, huh? That's my shit right there. Yeah, you know I mean, what you I'll know about that? that right? Well, first of all, well, I've never heard this version of Happy I know Birthday. You. White people have never heard this version. Black people play this version. Oh, I'm dedicating this to you, Maul. Thank you, bro. All right. <laughs> you gave me three balls. All right. yeah, yeah, you you get to the Happy Birthday. Well, as soon as I said I dedicate this to you, I heard how happy the beat was sounding. I'm like, yeah, man, a bunch, here's man. a lot. Uh, so plans? Come on, talk to me. Give me, give me something. Oh no, Where plans. We, really we have one oak tonight. Nah, hell he, no. he's always at one oak. Greenhouse. We got uh, bottle service. Mall oh, is the guy. Oh, ladies, y'all have to stop taking pictures in front of that. Uh, uh, alo- the illuminating uh, One Oak yeah, sign, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or that ended up at One Oak uh, oh, yeah. sign. Yeah, that's. that's Maul talk to mad bitches that take pictures <laughs> under that sign. <laughs> he take the picture for them. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one holding the camera. Ladies, no, honestly, if you are in the New York area, you have definitely seen that illuminating sign. That's right there with the fucking uh, gold couch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, here, here, we, go. here we go. Here we go. Three here minutes go. in. Three right, minutes right, in. That was a record, though. That was a record. No, no, no. Shout out Lenny S, man. That's my guy. So listen, fucking uh, One Oak. No. Are you going out tonight? <laughs> nah. I'm chilling, man. You know, you know I don't go out like that. I don't do the club, man. I was going to get like some like champagne some, or something, something but I thought that was something a little to too eat, salt. Something Chill to eat. That's yeah, like a ritual shit. of to live. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah that's what I'm saying. Like, just, you know, nothing changed. Niggas is going to As I get older, I don't know, man. Birthdays is not really... I don't know. And I'm I'm sick of birthday dinners. It'd yeah, be, like I don't like, really, yeah. Like, and if they have like two walks of life coming, like two yeah. separate groups of friends, then people trying to split a check and it yeah. gets weird. Yeah. Birthday dinners. I plan on going away soon, though, no, but you know. Birthday See, trips are probably the best. That's where Rory being 27, and I sound real basic. I don't know if that's me or the sound, but Rory being 27 matters here. I've been stopped going places when niggas want to split that yeah, check. It's, it's, I learned my it's lesson. It's insane. Yeah, no, no, no. You can't do yeah, that. You cannot do crazy. that anymore. Yeah. You do that still today? Hell no. Either this is your like, last year, that. I don't know. I don't do it now. The, when you I do go, when I do them. go out with friends, <laughs> it'll be my close friends, and we'll all just throw our cards, and no one will care. They'll just split it percentage yeah, you know, wise. You know what's funny? I get mad at that too. <laughs> what's that? I get mad when, when you get the appetizer, and someone else gets the steak. No, I get mad when it's thirty cards <laughs> on, no, on no, the fucking check. That. No, I just think nah. with birthday dinners, sometimes it's a bunch of different people that may not know each other. They all just know that one person, and that's where it gets fucking difficult. Sin yeah. just said yesterday to me that she wants to go eat dinner for her birthday. And the first thing I thought was, I have to organize that, so does that mean I have to pay for it? Uh, yeah, I her, was going to say, I, I feel like when you do shit like that, like if I was to have a birthday dinner, I'm not expecting anybody to come out and pay. Well, you're, you're responsible for Sin's meal in that situation. 
But that's not, not everyone notices. Yeah, but that's not classy though. That's, that's, what I, that's, that's why. Not, that's, that's, why not, that's not. That's yeah. not. That's not. I was gonna get some catering or something. Yeah, I would just pay for everything. Yeah. See, catering would make more okay, sense. But like, I'm not paying it. for all my girls' friends to eat. And yeah. that is the fuck out of here. What Rory just said is what I said to Sin. I'm not doing that. I said, fam. Do I have to pay for all your friends to eat? Because I don't want to. <laughs> and she said no. But she's 24 and ratchet. But see, the way so I right. look at it is that those are her friends. It's her birthday. That's kind of like your gift. That's why you got to uh, do like a catering. So there's like a base. They, you know, they some got of their her base family. Pay, some of her family I'll some do. Spaghetti. If they she want something else, they go sister. My problem isn't with paying. If you and I go to the bodega right now and you go grab some chips and stuff, I'll pay for it. My problem is when I let you know ahead of time that, yo, whatever you want in the bodega is on me, and now you're going to grab all the chips. <laughs> so that would be my beef in birthday dinner paying rules. Well, you definitely can't tell them if you were to pay. Uh, Parks is right. Yeah. Parks is right. I'm not, I'm Just not, invite I'm, them if they, uh, yeah. you know, they show up and then maybe they'll pay, maybe they won't. Because, you know, I want to I want to do something – Sexy like a nice something where the plates ain't probably the cheapest. Yeah. Now you got to find someone that does like a little catering joint. You know what I'm saying? You rent out the shit. You pay a little base flat, flat fee. When you meet your girl's friends, it lets you know how much you really love your girl. So, I mean, yeah. that's a topic for to another day. Them. Yo, my <laughs> fucking God. I love you, baby. Yeah, that's a topic for another day. So we won't talk about it. So I'm shocked you're even in town, Maul. Honestly. I am too. Honestly. Talk your shit then. No, I, I you know it's a lot of <laughs> hurricane shit going on. I ain't know where to go. Then when Couldn't I decided go to, the to go somewhere else, it was earthquakes. I said, I'm going to sit my ass. Nothing's happening in New York. Let me stay in New York. Chill, don't jinx Smart us. Smart move. Smart yeah. move. Uh, <clears throat> We're due up for some bullshit. We're going to have a bad winter, I think. Don't say that shit, man. I'm just saying. Winter... It- that's the nice thing about New York, though. It's like, worst case scenario, this? we're going to get snowed in for a day or two. That shit is kind of lit. So oh, We're not getting scot-free out this weather shit. They're going to get I'm us cool somewhere else. I'm a cool little blizzard. I'm looking forward to a rough winter in New York. Yeah. Last winter was pussy. Now we got one storm. Did we get no. one storm? Like last one winter, yeah. when, when we thought it was supposed to be spring, the last two we- weeks that's was all snow. Yeah, that's and it was like, yo, y'all wilding God. But other than that, last winter was cool. Yeah, I look forward to a rough winter this year because we're ruining. Everybody talking about racism, climate change is y'all niggas fucking the planet up. Yeah. But we'll talk about that another time too. So uh, I, I don't care about Rory's weekend, weekend um, or I Park's didn't do weekend. <laughs> I was sick, so it was a wrap. oh, stay away from me then. Yeah, yeah I, got, um, I got no stories. I got. I was sick, and then I just gave it to my baby mom. Well, I met I met Gary Owen, and I had that Spider Man uh, meme moment when we looked at each other, and that was about it. How come everybody met Gary Owen? This he was weekend? in the, the he was everywhere. The a, white comedian that's comedian. cool with all the black people. Oh, uh, okay. I know what you're talking about. He's been in like, <laughs> he's been in like every exactly. Kevin Hart he was movie. On, um, he was yes. on what you would call it. Um That. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that. yeah so, whatever that is, Gary Owen is. So in essence, Rory met Rory this That's week. what I was saying. It was a Spider Man meme when we saw each other. Okay. Nice. Where did you meet him? Uh you out a lot for a nigga yeah, yeah. without a job. Yeah, I got a network, bro. Network. <laughs> Let's build, let's it. build. With Gary Rory's Owens. got mad, let's build Never pictures know. in the, in mad, the let's phone build. right now. Rory is let's build, guy. I'm just chopping oh it up God. with Let's, I'm not, let's I'm Link. Not that guy. <laughs> Holy shit. I, love let's that. Link. I was just chopping it up, guy. I have you never not in my up. life been that guy. Ever. No, he chopped and it up. I stand up. by that. <laughs> he did. It's cool, though. Let's Come on, Gary Owens. <laughs> where'd you meet him at? That was, uh, I'm not going to say this, but. Was it Caroline's? No, it wasn't Caroline's. Oh. I didn't meet him at where he was performing. <laughs> <laughs> he was, that wouldn't have been weird. Asia left my house to go meet him there. I know. I saw the next day that she that she was at I the saw, show. I said, oh, that's uh, probably why I met him. I just saw in, her little fucking hoe pictures she put on Instagram. Being a hoe for that. Gary Owens is crazy. <laughs> no, I was talking about Asia. <laughs> Asia, do, Asia do have all the old hoe moves. Like Caroline's is an old hoe move. On a Saturday. <laughs> Listen, we don't talk about it here, but one of my favorite things to do is to watch the 40-year-old hoes. Wow. Yeah. Really? I know all you hoes that was hoeing 10 years ago, <laughs> and I'm watching y'all still. <laughs> I, I want to see, Gotta see how, how, you, how you have evolved in the hoeing business. Because, ladies mm. and gentlemen, I hate mm. to be the guy to tell you, the hoeing business has evolved. These bitches, DJs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up a minute, God. A wait a minute. Look, Rory always bitch up when we about to talk about some real shit. 
Good what are you, yo, you just be making. <laughs> is this your new thing the past three episodes? You just make shit up uh, that's out of nowhere. That's been my thing. That's been his thing for. <laughs> yo, what is Rory talking about? Rory, tell me about some of these women who I know are your friends who are DJing. No, they're not my friends. The conversation we had, that was your friend. I said, hey, Sophia have you seen Sophia the, Sophia the Body? DJing. I don't know Sophia the Body. Oh my God, Rory, play the clip. Oh. <laughs> that's what I was going to get to. That's why I paused oh, to see if you are going to be a pussy all about and talk that. about it. Play the clip, Rory. No. You find the clip. Play the clip. I'll talk. Sophia Body. I'm not even going to talk about Sophia, man. <laughs> a lot of women, see, see a lot of women out there are evolving with the ways to generate income. There we go. Who says Joe can't be PC? God damn it. Yeah, Joe can be PC. Now. If you are confused as to what I am saying, and this we shouldn't be leading the podcast off with any of this. I thought we were going to talk about all the important shit that went on in the world. Trump, LeBron, football. Sophia's transition is much more important. Yeah, <laughs> Sophia's transition. I'm tired of that damn wall. Delicious always take them fucking pics in front of. I'm sick of that damn wall. Rosa has, Acosta has a perfume named, uh, named Rosa. Rosa. <laughs> Brilliant marketing, Joe. Rosa by Rosa. <laughs> Break my fucking laptop. Rosa by Rosa. That's the name of her perfume? Rosa? That's wild. Well, does it smell good? Have y'all smelled the perfume? I, have you smelled Rosa before? <laughs> Ma. Rosa I've, great. Well, which I've smelled the real Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't smelled Rosa when she was wearing Rosa. <laughs> and if Rosa ever tell me that she wearing Rosa. <laughs> you don't think Rosa wears Rosa? <laughs> Hell no. Why the fuck <laughs> would Rosa wear? Why would Rosa wear Rosa? Rosa by Rosa. Wait, I ain't gonna tell y'all what's on the box. You guessed it. <laughs> Rosa. <laughs> Rosa is on. Rosa, call us up, man, and tell us what the fuck is going on. We should give a hotline. They can call in. Man, call me <laughs> and tell me what's going on. But, Rory, did you find the video? I have it. Because, it's listen, don't think more. that we're shaming anybody. This no, we're shaming is keeping somebody. dreams alive, this video right here. And Sophia knows she my nigga. But God damn it. The, the joke is in the caption. It's not so much in the video. Well, then read the caption. This is a video of, of, of the walk away video. Of Sophia walking she's to the wave, DJ booth. Waving her hands in the air. She's waving her hands no one's in at the, the club, air by the way. as if she just don't <laughs> care. And she cares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's got the DJ bag. It looks like. I wouldn't do it, but I did it. We didn't think she would do it, but she did it. She did it. What did she do? <laughs> Look, honestly, hey, podcast listeners, bear Great with DJ. us while we show people this uh, this clip here. Listen, this is excellent DJ. No, right? but this is the greatest oh, wait, quote wait in the, the world. Here is that go. central? I wouldn't do, but I did it. <laughs> Killed you, Parks. <laughs> that is central. That looks like central. Do, but I did you it. thought that Sophia, and really that's Tamal. <laughs> I think so. Because uh, Maul is the exact person that thought she wouldn't do it. That's a fact. And then but what happened? she did it. She did it. She did it. God bless her. Man. So let's go to somebody else. This is a great segue, actually. Let's go to someone else who y'all thought wouldn't do it, but they did it. The Queen. <laughs> you laughing at the Queen? I'm still laughing at that. <clears throat> you laughing at Sophia? No, what she said. Yeah. Are you laughing at the fact that she did it or the fact that you thought she wouldn't do it? <laughs> I have never thought about Sophia. About okay, it, but, but now that you're thinking about it, <clears throat> did you did think, you think she would do it? I still don't know what she did. <laughs> but do you acknowledge that? <laughs> that you didn't think she would do it? <laughs> yes. I, I still don't know if she did it. No, she's doing that, it in the video. So she, she did, did it. it. <laughs> okay, got you. Oh, so you still don't think she did it? <laughs> wow. Got you. Okay. Well, you still not believing? I mean, uh, yeah, I got to say she did it. It's in the video. All it's right, right uh, let's fucking talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen. Queen Cardi. You were the only one that didn't. Think she did. This is this is major, by the way. This is a major accomplishment. Oh, let me give him some more horns. Major, major, major accomplishment. Tell us, tell us why, Maul, before I hate. Well, I mean, it's the first time. It's the first time a female rap artist has had the number one song. Oh, and on ESPN since '98. I mean, no, that's, oh, he's giving me that's all LeBron stats. Oh, LeBron's that's the a, first player in the last ten minutes no, of the third quarter yeah, on ESPN a Tuesday good, night. No, but that's like a legit. 
It's been since '98. Yeah, Lauren but still, Hill. Like, that's big. But that's still. that's major. We gotta yeah, give a. But once you put no features on the end, it kind of makes it less swaggy. You know? Yeah, but I mean, she is the first artist ever to premiere with no features. Come on, I get it, but but you're right. I'm just being silly. Yeah, now. I know. But you're, you're absolutely right. This is big. Shout Pause. out to Cardi B, man. That's do major, major. Joe, major. do you still think that's not the song of the summer? No. How? You still don't think that's a song of the summer? <laughs> no, I'm saying I, I don't still think that. Oh, okay. I, I have changed my mind. I, I I have been proven wrong, even though I haven't really been proven wrong, because I have not gone to a club in <laughs> nine months. So I still don't really know that that's the song of the summer. I'm mm-hmm. just taking everyone's word for it here. Yeah. You should take everyone's word for it. Yeah. Well, now the stats are there. So That's not true. Well, how is that? It is the number there. one. I mean, number Despacito one is, the, is the, probably the, the song of the summer if we're going to be. You know it's I mean? the number one song. Wait, what did you say, Barnes? Despacito. What's that? that? Shit, uh, Justin Bieber, Daddy Yankee shit that was plays every three seconds on the radio. I don't, I don't that know. shit. Was just, uh, I didn't know Bieber and not, Daddy Yankee not, had a song. You that's have a, the other dude's song. You have a radio? The other. No. Reggae tone artist. I forgot his name. But listen, I only say that because I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I love Cardi B and I'm happy for her. Uh. The record that I was championing was uh, Unforgettable by French, and, and that had numbers to support that argument as well. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't that like... Big that's show, why I don't like... That record was huge. That's why I don't like numbers arguments, because we can find numbers to support any argument. Mm-hmm. So I'll just take you guys' word for it and the reaction that I'm seeing on, on social media and the, and the overwhelming outpouring of love for Cardi B. I think it's to the point now, Cardi somehow, 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 has worked her way into the very, very sacred space of... Uh, Likeability? Yes, to where the people that hate her can't. Yeah. That's a That's very difficult- rare place to be. And, and and just judging by looking at social media yesterday... Were y'all on social media yesterday? Yeah, the entire time. So y'all, y'all saw it too? You look, you look really nuts if you're hating on Cardi B. So, listen, I thought it was only... Well, yesterday I was really busy, so I, I wasn't even on social media uh, in between naps, right? But it's busy day. Sin, Sin said... I'm pregnant, man. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Sin said, see, people always laugh when the man talks about the side effects of him being pregnant. But whatever. Sin said, yo, I love Cardi like everybody else. It seems like it's like a lot of people saying congratulations, Cardi. And I didn't pay it any mind. Sin is from New York like me. So we've seen Cardi. We know that Cardi's us. Like, we know Cardi. Yeah. So I didn't pay it any mind. And then later, somebody came by. Ash came by. Shout out to Ash. Ash is supposed to come to this podcast. Ash is great. And Ash said, why is everybody congratulating Cardi as if they're related to her? And I said, well, what do you mean? And she said, well, why is Lala congratulating <laughs> Cardi B? Mm-hmm. And it was funny, but when I thought about it, why are all of these people congratulating Cardi B? And that, I think that. that is a valid question now. We've seen number one records, and we have not seen people congratulate said author of number one record, right? Mm-hmm. Agreed. These, these are facts I'm saying, right? I mean, yeah, this is not no, hate. I'm, I'm agreeing. Right. So, I'm waiting until you're done. So, I, so I had about, you know, and just and just asking myself this question, I probably came up with 15 different reasons why I would like to hear from y'all. She's the people's chip. Yeah, I mean, we watched, was we watched her was... from being regular, from regular ho on Instagram <clears throat> and watched this entire story happen. Yeah. It, it would be like if we've watched since she was nothing, it would be like watching your homeboy become successful without actually knowing them because you saw the whole journey and people were there for it. They wanted to support her. And she supports just being yourself a lot. I think people admire that. Yeah, she's positive. How can you, how how could you not? She's positive. She embraces her shortcomings. Yeah. Uh, Every bit of hate they've tried to give her, she's agreed with. Hey, hey. <laughs> and you ready for this one? Oh my God! What world are we living in? Where I'm even about to say this, but the whole I used to strip line. It's a line now, and it's a successful one. Damn it. It's the damn near, it's right underneath I'm gay. And you know what else, too, though? Uh, we just in the era of, it, let's, I mean, I everything think, that y'all I think said. You're on to something. I think you're a little early, but Cardi is leading the charge there. No, she's not. I think you're ahead of your time. Amber. I'm, no, I'm giving you a compliment. I just don't, we're getting there. It's close to it's, coming. It's very close. Well, yeah, it, Cardi will lead us to the next one. 
Well, here's here's the thing too. Along with everything, that shit's a cheat code, man. We, I'm about to strip. We just in the era. <laughs> we, we just in the era where it's a lot of. Oh, I think Trey. Yep. I think Trey could give me 20 minutes of hits. Oh. Yo, <laughs> wait, we, <hold> right. <laughs> we, right. we in the era where it's just cool. Fake love is cool now. You understand? So it's it's also cool. It's cool for everybody. Like, yo, Cardi, you doing your thing? Da, 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 da. That's my bitch. I fuck with her. But it's really all fake love at the end of the day. They're just doing it so they can be seen and be heard. I think it's hype beast culture, yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's hype beast culture. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy for Cardi. I mean... As am I. As I mean? is Rory. We're all New Yorkers I'm, I'm, here. I'm talking so. about more so of the, the celebs that get behind the record and post themselves dancing and doing shit to the record. It's kind of like... It's fake love. I mean, they probably do really like the record, but they're doing it because it's becoming like cool on social media to do it to the Cardi record. 1,000%. And right? listen, I'm, and this is not hate to say this, but... Everybody was so impressed with Janet dancing to the record. Yeah. I, I just said, oh, okay, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you're you're right. taking a hot record, <laughs> and, and it, you're yeah. an icon, and you're yeah. dancing to it. Right. I, Which, I, yeah. I see a lot of that happening. There's nothing Beyonce wrong with it. Beyonce does that with every tour, whatever the real hot record is. She'll mix it into her set in mm. for like five, ten seconds. This is where, where my worry is with Cardi, and, I mean, it's in my nature to just worry. So here's my worry. I think Bodak Yellow is what it is. It, it's it's already peaked. Mm-hmm. I don't. Think, oh, it's certainly. I don't. Yeah. I don't feel like Cardi nor or Cardi's team or Atlantic or Kaiser or Julie or any of these people should still be so overly focused on Bodak Yellow. And if you just look on social media, all parties involved still seem to be very much on Bodak Yellow. That worries me as an industry insider. Because shit, they're gonna ride that shit Cardi, the wheels fall. Cardi yeah. has Cardi has on her own announced, and it's important to point out on her own because a lot of times what the artist wants to do and what the label wants to do is different. But on her own has announced an October release date, mm-hmm. which probably won't be true. But right. yeah, I, I see it. her more in November fourth quarter. Shit, we'll see. Well, I mean, the well, fact well, that let... we talking about Cardi B releasing the album is crazy. Right. With the num- right. the number one record in the whole world. That's not crazy. urban. The that's, number one record insane. in the whole world. Right. That is in- that's just the power of when social media decides to stamp you as yo, you're the one we're gonna get behind and push. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing that can be and done not to stop take away from her because that that song is yeah. very catchy. No, the song is just dope. I like sure. the record a lot. I mean, I'm people saying, people I like were record. waiting for Cardi to have at least something I like, that but was see, catchy. The thing is, people like Cardi. Exactly. See, and, and that's and that goes back to what you know the the, the kid Russ was saying on Everyday Struggles. Is when you're popular now, that's better than yeah. having talent because it's like if you're popular, people are gonna get behind you, they're gonna champion, they're gonna push you. So whatever I, you decide said, to attach yourself to when you're popular, it's gonna pop because people are like yo. Popular fuck, is, is the new talent, right? Yeah, that is a fact. So if you happen to be popular with thing, some talent, you're gonna win. For well, real. kind of always been the case. Yeah. No, it's more over talent. the top now. I think there's I some know. talent in Bodak there's Yellow, though, plenty of fucking... to know what women are going to want to repeat, I think it is very big now. Yeah, it's pop I think, culture. It's, I think it's... raps now, if they're not Instagram captions, it's hard for them to catch on as hit records. The I think there's a lot of Instagram captions in Bodak Yellow. So there's some talent in that sense. Back in the 60s and shit, the kids that were on TV put out records that were smashes, like the monkeys and all these motherfuckers. That like, they took it's from black people. always been the same shit. Only Parks. Always been the same me shit. Me and you, before this podcast started, Parks and I were having a conversation in which Bahamadia came up. <laughs> and I said, Parks and I are the only two people to still regularly mention Bahamadia. <laughs> and just now, he says the monkeys. I'm the only person to regularly mention the monkeys, at least in my head. Parks is a real weirdo. But anyway, 100%. listen, uh, I want to get into that, what you were saying, Rory, because I would like us uh, to delve into before, Bodak Yellow. Just before we get out of the positive thing, have you noticed that strippers and scammers are the most positive people in your timeline and the most motivating? They drug, post drug every, They post all the fucking uh, ambitious quotes. Scammers really be making me feel like I'm not doing enough. <laughs> I want to beat 40-ounce Van up. <laughs> Every time he tweets. Scammers might... What was the shit people used to say? Rise and grind? Scammers started rise and grind, and it just went off. I'm not doing it. Scammers, scammers are the most... Scammers started rise, rise and grind. And grind. <laughs> They're the most positive people. It's DJ Khaled and scammers are the most positive people on my timeline. Or gay About, people rise and grind. Boys, did gay people start that? <laughs> oh. hey, Listen, now I get it. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm not pause touching that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. To more, to more's, uh, to what you were saying earlier, right? Mm-hmm. Cardi having a number one record doesn't shock me. So now we have a stripper 
with the number one hip hop record in the country. Uh, Donald Trump is the president still. Uh, the, I just I just always believe that there's certain indicators and places you could look when you really want to see the place of the, the where the world is. Sports is one. Sports is in a fucking disarray. It's mm-hmm. all over the place right now. Uh, the government, he's all over the place. Music, all over the place. The top actors, a wrestler. I mean, I mean, these, to me, these are all indicators of of where the world is going. But again, that's another topic for another time. So uh, let's delve into. What, what, t- somebody tell me why this record is 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 such a hit. Uh, I mean, again, like the things we said of everyone just liking Cardi and her personality, and Bodak Yellow reflects her personality. It. I don't want to talk about Cardi. Well, I only want to talk the, about her song. Yeah, the song reflects the artist's personality, and everyone loved the personality. It has quotables of the way she used to be on Instagram, be like, I'm a stripper hoe, and people just used to repeat that. A lot of that is in that record, but it's in song form, and you can sing along to it. Yeah. It's the theme music to her. her. Yeah. It's the opening music. <laughs> it's and a- I, I don't think Bodak Yellow works. I, even if you put a random stripper to rap that, that's not going to work because... We fell in love with Cardi's personality, and that song is her personality. Yeah, if you give it to any other female I don't, I don't rap think it works. or male, I guess, rap artist, it probably also doesn't work. All right. So where I'm wrong with that song. Here's my weird guy theory. Two things, twofold here. I give a lot of fucking credit to that damn haunting that plays for the whole fucking beat nonstop. <laughs> God damn it, that shit is yeah, hypnotizing. It is. Now, it's so hypnotizing that I think it's ill that whoever created this song and this record, Cardi and whoever was involved, decided to totally ignore it. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah. That, Different that, pocket. That's dope. First, we always hear about Kodak Black. Who produced the record? I, to this day, have no idea. I don't know. I've seen them. People uh, don't care uh, about producers anymore, unfortunately. I'm asking. Because we, we don't read producers. credits. It's not anybody big. And if it was, where could we read the credit? <laughs> yeah, that's true. With, that's we true. Can't, Wikipedia. Oh, that's God. <laughs> Apple Chris music, wrote it. Yeah, that's crazy. Apple <laughs> Music has to catch up. I produce Bodak Yellow. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Title Title has credits. That's the only one that does. Shout out to Hope for that. Also, I think that the content in the song... Uh, covers everybody, and when I say it covers everybody, it this song you will directly feel it if you have low self esteem, right. and you will directly feel it if you are the exact opposite. Right. If you have way too much confidence, right. <laughs> yeah, it misses no one. Uh, in the setting that she's hitting, and I'm assuming it's the club because she's saying it's the club in the song. So how yeah, do people want to feel in the club like that? So now when you couple that, now when you when I think about that now, a nigga that hasn't been to the club in nine months, I, I can see her going Listen. out and performing and the entire club singing the words to the chorus. The chorus that was key to. Well, it's, it has a because hook, I was but it's asking, a unique hook. I know, it is a me hook. It's a me hook, exactly. So much so, I, was, I remember I was asking y'all what the hook was mm-hmm. to the song yeah. before I had ever heard it. But that's because she made the hook. It sounds like a verse. A verse, yeah. but still made us remember it like a hook. Right. There's a lot of real intricate shit going on with this song. I will I will say that. And also, to your club point, people don't dance in the clubs anymore. That's that true. doesn't happen. You stand around, you Instagram. All you can do is really sing along to you shit. You just shoot videos. You just you yeah. shoot your own rap videos. So like, no one is rap. really there unless you're Crystal to dance at oh the club. Oh, my God. <laughs> that... Uh, shout out to Crystal, yeah. She's the only nigga doing that. Um, that's what killed the up-tempo record. Yeah. I well, could never figure yeah. it out in New, in New York. And, yeah. when, and I only think this because I, add, I uh, vividly remember the scene when Pump It Up came out. Right. All of the club records were up-tempo. up-tempo. Oh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, the South came and took over. We got that. But Rory makes a great point I never thought about. Niggas ain't dancing yeah. in a club no more. They, they, they have their they have their phones <laughs> out. They're looking for the bottle to put in front of the phone, and they want to rap and, the lyrics. And, to and the most the moving you want to do is the little bunny hop. Yes, South. Yeah. Nah, I remember when we were running around doing all those club dates after uh, the Love and Hip Hop era, I'm sitting up from the DJ booth, watching the whole crowd do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's just chilling, <laughs> like 
No one's moving. Buy, buy a bottle and do an Instagram video. That's it. That's really it at all. Oh, and I found the producer, Jay White. He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. It just says Jay White. Shout out Jay White. <laughs> so I want to give him some credit for producing that record. I want to hear the next record. Me too. Yeah. And uh, Cardi has record. Like that lick shit with uh, Offset kind of works. It's not, of course, nowhere near Bodak Yellow. It kind of works in the club a little bit. Um, the red bar shit was really cool. It, it was just before Bodak Yellow, so the people weren't paying attention as much. I think it'll be I, interesting to see if she can follow it up. I don't, I don't know if it matters. I mean, kind of no matter what she does, she's not going to get uh, very rare artists get. No, Bodak it matters because let me tell you, even with all this overwhelming outpouring of fucking love, if she does not produce again. All of these people are disappearing, and they're all going to say, I told you so, and I knew it. And yeah, they're all going to say that. And I mean, I don't want to be the very bad news, but But that's true. I don't don't know that she has all her eggs in the basket as far as being a rapper. She seems like a type where she's a hustler. She's going to go get it no matter what. If the music shit don't work, she's going to be on TV or an actress or whatever. That's what Sin says to me every time I, I say all that music label bullshit. She says, Cardi has worked herself to a point where... Whatever she does next is yeah, going to work. Is huge. Yeah. It's going matter. to work. And hustler. I agree. I'm a hustler. I just happen to know how to rap. Cardi said that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a hustler. I don't <laughs> sleep from the first to the, you know what I mean? All right. Uh, so shout out to Cardi. Damn, wait a minute now. So Cardi has the number one record. Uh, Nicki Minaj congratulated her. Do y'all care? She uh, she had to. <laughs> Everyone yeah, has me and, to. Me and Sam were just having this conversation. She didn't have to, but she looked a little bitter there. Mm. And I think Nikki, with the change in the climate of how some people feel about her, because she still does have a huge fan base, how some people feel about her, she needs those people. <clears throat> Everyone likes Cardi. Yeah. You're going to lose people if you dislike her. Yeah, you can't. I don't Granted, know. It could I don't be, know. It could how, be from, how did that start? How did what start? How did people just start saying that Nikki doesn't like Cardi or is shady or she's salty? or How did that start? Because I, I, I really don't think Nikki is salty or anything about what Cardi is doing. Like, Nikki I it, is solidified. I was everything little, that Cardi was, is trying to do, Nikki has done. But I think it's just a, I think the Nikki brand in general has come off as salty since the Remy shit, all the shit. Like, it, she don't really seem to be, her, her image think, right now is not necessarily supportive of other female rappers. You don't think so? That. When these, Who supported so, Nikki so, when she was coming up? Which female rapper? I'm not saying that. What female There, there rappers wasn't any female there. rappers out. What female mm. rappers were there? Tell me. Remy was I'm in jail. About, I'm talking about period. And that b- there before were her none. to come, like there were none. Okay, so why does so why does Nikki? Why does everybody look at Nikki like she has to support? I don't Cardi? think she does. Who said that? Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm uh, just asking. Also, she was very supportive of Young Ma. Not so much. Actually, I, I will counter what you're saying. Too many women are fucking hiding hate behind women empowerment. That's why. But that, that's goes, why. That goes, that's what I said. It's fake love out here now. Everything no, I'm a, is fake. I'm a, I'm agreeing with you, but it's probably intensified when it comes to women because uh, anybody who was ever oppressed is in power now. And when you talk about women empowerment and women identifying with women, you know, they've established this infrastructure of support even among among strangers. So when some information comes out, like uh, everything everybody at the Breakfast Club said that Nikki was doing in Texan when that Remy beef was going on. We got that from them. We didn't know that. Uh, all the shit Remy said, and we could take that with a grain of salt because they was involved in war. Cardi is on record saying that there's a bunch of, uh, she did red carpets where she was shaded by uh, a female rapper. And because the field is so low, I mean, uh, short on rappers, we just assume it's Nikki. You're right. We assume that it's Nikki. We cannot prove it. We can't prove it. So yeah. you're right and, in that. We and can't prove after it. Uh, Summer Jam, I think, was also a big part because Cardi was part of that every single female rapper on stage but Nicki. So it kind of looked like Cardi was siding and naturally people have... And then there's will, the Cardi so. Remy feature. I mean, we don't have to really dig into that, but I know if I'm beefing with somebody, that's just me in rapper mode. If, if I've got beef with it, when me and Tor, think- when me and Tori <laughs> took that picture at the Flex video shoot last year, it was just automatically assumed... That we were taking a jab at Drake. We thought nothing about Drake. But that's right. what I was going to say. Like, if Nikki, I feel like yeah, if Nikki definitely taking a jab was at out, we were not taking a jab at Drake. <laughs> Shut I, up. Boy. I feel like if Nikki was more outspoken in her support for Cardi, I think that people would be like, You phony? 
She phony. Oh, you told me you ain't trying, trying yeah. to ride her well, wave. No, you only she is to... in a lose lose. Yeah, that's Absolutely. what I'm saying. So it's like I think I think what Nikki is doing is best. Like just let Actually, Cardi she's have her in moment. A lose, like lose lose lose. I'm gonna put an extra lose there. Here's that's what. But that's what I'm saying. So she's probably best just totally removing herself from being. Let Cardi just have her platform. Like I don't. Nah, even but there's wanna... nothing wrong with her saying congratulations. No, it's nothing that's, wrong that's with a, it. It's nothing wrong with it. That's a win win. Really, it's nothing wrong with it. But when you champion it like you start pushing her, like yo I fuck with this record people gonna be like oh she just she, well, she can't do that now. she only riding she only riding her way she only riding it cause she hot she only supporting it cause she and it's like damn why she can't really genuinely just be happy for Cardi like because we've never seen her if genuinely this, if, be if, happy if, for another if, woman if I'm in Nikki's position to me this is a, a time where Nikki is like okay good another female has the Right now, like I can kind of relax and just do, you know what I'm saying? Just chill for a second. I hate fucking Maul Minaj. What you mean? <laughs> no, for real, because you talk like all of that is too logical, Maul, what you're saying. But no, what, I let y'all say the opposite, and I'm just bringing that to the table. No, what I'm asking you is do you think that Nikki is that logical? I mean, I don't know. I'm we don't know, you. but I'm just throwing that. What if she is? I'm just saying, what if she is, though? That's, oh, that's then, the part then I'm great. saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't, I'm not saying yes. This is exactly how Nikki feels. No, I'm okay. just saying. What if You're right. this is how she? You feels? are correct. That's all I'm saying. I will tell you this though, and this is another reason that I don't really want to see all of this uh, posturing from these two. This is the exact same thing Nikki and Remy did when Remy came home. <laughs> the tweets, the "I love you," "I support you," <laughs> they did that. Mm-hmm. So that's why it just, I mean, it's a bad optic for me when I see the exact same movie playing again. But, I mean, I don't know. You're right. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know. But, God damn it, it's fun to speculate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, God, we do a podcast and I do a fucking show. We're going to speculate. All right, but listen, congratulations to Cardi. That's first and foremost. I mean, that's just the most important thing. Yeah. And, I mean, even if Nikki felt some type of way, the gesture was great. The congratulations was great. Everybody, the love is great. Right. Yeah, you could never Fake or not, we can't prove it. Right, we can't yeah. prove someone's intent. It, sh- it usually shows, it shows up later. Sometimes it shows up later. Well, Nikki is make. I still think that bracket up first is doing pretty well. Like Nikki is moving in a better direction than she was a couple months ago. <laughs> I got a hot take about that one. Whenever y'all want to hear it, Speak like a hit, here it go. Okay, that record's a hit. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I, I would like to ask y'all how y'all feel about this one. Yeah, I, I love it. I, Ben I, said I, I love the record. So, yeah. But last time, and I'm only saying this, last time we spoke about that record here, I didn't, I wasn't so... Okay. It's, not, it's not a hit hit. It's a hit. Because really we can't really say it's, yeah. not a, uh, it's not a massive I'm hit, on, but it's a, whoa, it's a good, that, good, whoa, 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 good, good record no, 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 no. that's going to work. Rory, right. no. That, it's not a massive hit. It's talking about the results. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to talk about the results. Oh, okay. I want to talk about your ears. When you hear this record, does it sound like a hit? Yeah, I like it. I mm-hmm. say yes. Yeah, it sounds mm-hmm. like a hit. If... This were somewhere around the truffle butter era, and Nikki was that on fire. Mm. Would we hear this record more? Now I'm asking y'all that because I don't go outside, I don't leave my house, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I just think that record that I think is a hit with that hard ass Nikki verse, and we ain't heard that Nikki in quite some time. I think it'd be championed a bit more, especially with women running. Hip hop, Cardi is winning. Rhapsody has arguably the best rap album from a woman ever produced. Arguably, mm-hmm. we could. I could argue it. I, I could. No doubt. It's early so, to say that, but it's a great album. I, I mean, talk when I think women album. albums, I think hardcore. I think the Miseducation. Is that a rap album though? I had this debate. Miss Education? Yeah, I don't I really qualify that as a rap album. That's R&B album. I don't. There's like one rap song. I don't. I don't. Maybe. I don't, but I love Lauren, and of she was course. in the Fugees, and I love the Fugees. Yeah, no doubt. It's, it's the Love Below. It's a, it's a, hey, R&B. we love the Love Below? It's an R&B album by a rapper. I don't know that I would call a rapper. that a rap album. I don't, no, no, I know I'm not calling it a rap album. Y'all just shut up. It is. No, Big Boys was a rap album. Don't ruin it. Anyway, Okay, so let's take that out. For me, Hardcore is probably the best, Just that's just without thinking. And yeah, I could compare this. I could compare this to hardcore. I don't know what I mean, your favorite uh, one, uh, female rap album is. I'd be, I'd be lying if I wasn't biased in this conversation, just because rap is a friend. But this is by far her best project, in my opinion. Rap for the past how five? Can eight you stop years? calling her rap because that's a word? Yeah, yeah. So you're All confusing right. rap, people. Rhapsody. There we go. All right. Yeah. You're saying rap. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. like a whole that's genre of music. Yeah, that was one of his, that's that's one of his, one of his moves that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, cool. I, yeah I just Wait, had to What is my it. move? That's what, that's what we referred to. That's, Rory, <laughs> what if I saw it, I'd be like, what up, rap? 
No <laughs> doubt. Oh, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused what I'm doing here. Did I miss something in me talking? Rory is great. I just love Rory, man. It's, you got to love Rory. I love Rory. No, say it. All right, no. no it's just it. funny. Though. Just if right. a, if a, if a, No, that's funny. But if a girl came in here and said... Uh, uh, hey, Roar. No, you know, like called <laughs> called Durant like Kev. Oh, yeah. If a chick uh, called Durant KD Kev. Like, yeah, he, don't he, he not come on, mom. We're judging her. I mean, Rapsy's Maul not Durant. Maul calls Brandon BJ. People don't do that. That's no, his everybody fucking calls him cousin, BJ. though. They're related. <laughs> Maul's related to mad NBA niggas and Rockefeller. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's, it's fucking, that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so Rhapsody, for the past five to eight years, all her projects, to me, have been her trying to prove to everyone else how much of, of a, a better rapper, rapper yeah. she is. I'm not a fem- I'm not just a female rapper. I'm better than all y'all. And I think this project, she had nothing to prove. She was just putting together a good album. She seemed much more relaxed when she was rapping. It seemed like she wanted to say something. That's ultimately not what just I think ba- it was. not just bar people to death. She was which relaxed. she's amazing at. But this just felt like I'm trying, but I'm not really trying. She wasn't pressured to put out any music. Yeah. Like being with Rock Nation, they just let her. Create at and I want to say the visuals for the rollout were phenomenal. <clears throat> all yeah. the flower shits that they've been putting out for the past month yeah. all look great. Yeah, shit, yeah. So. yeah, I'm only going strictly off music, and the music is great. So yeah. shout out the knife, shout out guru the guru, well. yeah, uh, and shout out the rap. Yeah, y'all, <laughs> listen, shout out yeah. the rap, y'all, y'all body that. That is a cool little name, though. Rap, rap. Well, that, that was the end thing. Every time we all talk, City, I think I got time to fucking do something, and you just that's a, that's a cool name. It is a cool name. Thanks. Uh, what else is it like really important? Football. Did we finish the the rack it up? I don't know if you were gonna get to something with that. You asked. If oh no, I finished. My my point was j- just that I think I think. I, I I mean I, I'm not mad at somebody if they made the case and I'm not making a case. I don't know I if Nikki is hopping on bracket up during the truffle butter era because she didn't need to. Nah, they love each other. Who got got in her? Yeah. No, nah, I know that, but I still think she would have been. You know when people be like, I'm not doing nothing right now. I gotta let these records go. I, I could see that happening. That's a record. I just feel like I should hear more. I guess that's it. That's a good record, and Nikki has a great verse. Yeah. Uh. What do we? Do you want to talk about this football shit? Uh, the, the fucking kneeling. I mean, I hate Jesus. I mean, Kaepernick still doesn't have a job. All oh, right. So where's my uh, where's my phone? I'd like to play a clip I don't from. I care about Kaepernick not having a job. I care about the fact that fucking police are still killing people and getting away from oh, scot yeah. free. That, That's mean, what matters to me. I don't think we would ever be able to really. I, stop I don't that. think protests in the NFL because Cap has a job is. I mean. I think his issue is more important than him having a job. I no think offense. Cap would agree, too. I, I think so, too. I want to play this clip from my father, and when I say my father, I mean who my father would be if I were white because I love Greg Popovich. Greg Popovich should be all of our fathers, I feel like. How, how people feel about Beyonce, I feel about Greg Popovich. I think I've made my point, so I'll shut up now. But I'm going to play this clip. It's a little lengthy. Pause. Well, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think about some platform that I have. I'm an individual. Uh, I'm pausing I, this right already. <laughs> Off rip. <laughs> <laughs> Off rip, he gave you bars. Yeah. Because that's all we've been hearing right. is, oh, to misuse your platform. Right. Are you fucking kidding me? Can't y'all just be humans? Well, right? I, you know, I don't, I don't think about some platform that I have. I'm an well, individual. It, uh, I live too, in this Greg. country. I have a right to say and think what I want. It's got nothing to do with you know my position. My if followers. Somebody else think one way or the other about something. Great, but the discussion has to take place. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's it's. <laughs> you know, obviously, you know, race is the elephant in the room, and we and we all understand that. But uh, yeah, unless it is talked about. Constantly, it's not going to get better. We know People that. Get bored. He's oh, not barring y'all again. to death yet. The bars is coming. The race card again. Why do we have to talk about that? Well, because it, it's uncomfortable. Oh, and mm-hmm. there has to be an uncomfortable element in the discourse for anything to change. That's true. You know, whether it's the LGBT movement or you know, uh, women's suffrage, uh, race, it doesn't matter. Here comes uh, Don DeMarco. People have to be made to feel uncomfortable, and especially white people. Don DeMarco. We still have no clue of what being born white means. Don DeMarco. 
And if, if you read some of the, you know, uh, recent literature, you'll realize it really is no such thing as whiteness. Uh, but we've kind of made it up. Uh, that's not uh, I bet Rory was my on that committee. Thought, but <laughs> it's true. The make up whiteness. It, 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 it's hard to sit down and, and decide that. All right, that's enough. I've heard enough. Bars from Dad Popovich. And, I mean, he has accurately summed up it, it, anything that I want to say about it. I also feel like this has been an ongoing conversation for uh, quite some time, and it should be, as it should. I mean, this isn't the first time he's spoken up about it. Pop does this a lot. That should I be fucking think- mandatory education for white people. They should just have to listen to that until they understand well, it. Well, I, th- I think it does. all these things that he says at these press conferences don't get the media shine they deserve because they make too much sense and it's too logical. It's something you literally cannot say no to. That's why they just kind of go under the table. Because he's been saying this for over the past two years. Yeah, for sure. Well, they a lot just, of people they just don't get been... the coverage they deserve because it, it's honestly too articulate and too logical for someone to say no to, and it doesn't go against probably the agenda that a lot of people are for. I mean, I think that's the biggest problem <laughs> is it's not the agenda that they want. Which is why it doesn't get that. How did this turn into the two white niggas talking? True. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Uh no, I only played the clip so we could so we could fucking open the fucking floor to talk about it. I love Popovich, man. He's he's I, I get you I, you can understand why players and coaches that have gone through his organization have nothing but great things to say about him. Um he's always kind of felt, you know, you always just heard him say things and he you knew where he st- he stood. He's just like, "Yo, listen, man, I I don't it's disrespectful for people not to to say that, oh, why do they feel this way? Like, you don't know. Like, well, how can you even speak on that? Because you wake up every morning and you're white. You don't even you don't even understand the privilege that comes with that yet. Like, we still don't understand that. Like, when you're born white, you're already 50 yards ahead of everybody. When he said that, I was just like, I was in amazed, amazement because I'm like, duh, I don't even understand how Popovich really thinks like this. Like, it's just refreshing to hear a white American man speak like that. And yeah. he gets it, and, he, and you could tell that he he truly means it, and he understands. Like, I get it. I'm I understand what the problem. Anytime is. him or Steve Kerr say anything, I want to hug them both. Right, right. I, and, and Popovich I, is just you know he, and he's American through and through. Like he's he lets lets him you know he loves this country. No more. You sounding too right. And no, I but got, I'm just I saying. But, interrupt no, but but really, it is what it is. It's like you almost expect him not to feel the way he's feeling. I want you to answer. For all of your childhood idols who turn out to be fuck niggas, Michael Jordan, Ray Lewis. Well, uh, again, I always nope. But I'm always I'm nope. always the one that says I don't, defend it. No, but I'm always the one that says with athletes, I don't look to them to be like I just love what they do on their on their playing field. Like when Kobe did the snitching thing and all, I was you know people like oh that's your man, that's your favorite player. That's my favorite player. It's not my favorite person. I don't care who did Kobe snitch on. When he said the thing Shaq. about Shaq cheating, you know, when he, you know, when he got caught cheating, oh, and then he said Shaq oh, cheated yeah. too. Oh, he was wild. People, you know, they, people <laughs> killed me for that. People <laughs> nah, killed me. Kobe killed wild me for out that. for yeah, a Yeah, like, but yeah, people came out. at me, and I told him, I don't care. I don't care for Kobe away from but, me. But what I will say court. is, him and Shaq have had their behind the scenes beef, so I don't know oh, yeah. what Shaq was doing. But that's a little wild from Cole. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, the whole thing with people, oh, Tom Brady, you like Tom Brady. He's just, I don't care what Brady does away from football. I don't care about his views away from football. I just care that when he steps on the field, to me, he's the greatest quarterback ever. That is irresponsible on your part. Why? I, I don't. Call, I don't. I, am, look, I don't I look for athletes to out. be my role model or to, to. I don't look. I don't look for that. I, my role models are people that I see every day. I come into contact I said with every nothing day. Nothing about you looking to athletes to be your role model. But a lot of people but do. Looking to athletes to not support fucking hating uh, black people. That's totally different. Yeah, no, that is different. But the thing is, if they don't, if they choose not to speak on it, I'm not mad. Because it's like I don't, I don't care if y'all don't. If speak If you're on not it. gonna speak on it, then fucking don't speak on it. But not speaking on it is very different from you wearing a fucking "Make America Great Again" hat. It's very different from you donating money. It's different from you saying Absolutely. Trump has been a friend of mine for years. That's different. If you're not speaking, then goddamn it, don't speak. Absolutely. But they're but, speaking. But Rex Ryan is another one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To have built your entire fucking career on the backs of blacks. And have the fucking gall to sit on TV and say, that was my man, but he wildin' now? No, that is unacceptable. Charles Barkley, you are a fucking coon. And every time matters of race come up, you sound like a fucking coon. And I love Charles Barkley. Yeah, I get it. But I mean, a spade is not a spade. 
Here's the all thing. of our fucking people that we love. And again, you know, I just finished saying, you know, uh, the presence reality star, number one records reality star, number one actors, a fucking yeah. wrestler and all this shit. But damn, what was we just talking about? What's we Charles Barkley? Yeah, the fucking bigger story here is probably how all of the niggas we loved and revered and adored is fuckheads. Yeah, but that's Cosby what, on okay. down. That, but that's so that, goes right, back so that, to what that I was just saying, bears though. the question. I have no opinion in this question. I wish all the niggas I love would shut the fuck up if they are not supporting their people. That's so, what I would wish. In a perfect I don't world, think that's I'm, hard because when people are saying, "All right, we want athletes to come out and support." Positive things and don't support. Don't come out get, and support you're if gonna you don't get agree. Athletes, all <laughs> athletes to talk. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. If you, you. don't <laughs> agree, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Well, Sorry. I'm saying, and that can't happen. If everyone's gonna be vocal, there's going to be some fucking idiots in that conversation. Absolutely. But these idiots do need to be called out, like how Shannon Sharp Break. has called everyone out. Shannon and Sharp been, is another one who been, I just absolutely just... It's been very articulate in everything Shannon, that he's Shannon been saying. Shannon Sharp getting fucking man of the year. Uh, yeah, I have the utmost respect oh, for oh. Shannon, man. He just... He just... He he understand. Well, he's, he's, he's from the Don South. DeMarco so, you know, he, too. he's seen and dealt with shit that... That we can only imagine. Like, Shannon has... You know that he has seen it blatantly in his face his entire career. And now he's on a platform to where he can eloquently... I'm going to use eloquent. He can elo- eloquently speak... Yeah. And, and address issues, and he did a great job on a. Uh, he just he been body he's been skip body on shit. everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Niggas really thought that he was just like added throwing. Yeah, no. to the to I was deal. one of them. No, I was no. one of them. I stand he corrected. I, when, me too. Me too. Me and too. It's, and it's funny because they, I was like, uh, you know, the, the right. stigma with Shannon early in his career when he did interviews was that he sounded too southern and too he could, he wasn't well spoken. He wasn't well, you know. what I mean, that was the knock on him when he did interviews early in his career as an athlete. So to see him now where he is. It's just yeah. a testament to him, just like you know what I'm gonna take what they said I couldn't do, and now I'm gonna do it. In and the I'm words gonna do of it. Sophia Body, my right. n- my knock on <laughs> I didn't think him. I was gonna do it, but I did it. My knock on him was always that he looks like the Broncos logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has he has a very <laughs> he, he has a very strong face. That nigga. He a, looked like the Patriots logo and the Broncos. That nigga's logo. a Bronco Patriot. <laughs> <For real? laughs> that nigga's a Pat Bronco. <laughs> No, but Punch he's doing a fucking great job. So much so, I don't even really hear what Skippy's saying no more, but that's beside the point. I ain't seen the camera on Skip. Yeah, they don't in, even look at Skip no more. Clips. Yeah, they don't even put his shit out as a teaser no more. You just kind of hear an ad lib in the back. Yeah, they fucking skip up, man, over there. That's funny. The well, same way that fucking uh, Irv got a fuck 50. Anyway. Uh, I hope Pop keeps doing this once the season starts as well, because obviously there'll be more cameras on him once the season starts. I, I think he'll continue to do, to do so. How do y'all feel about the Cowboys uh, kneeling before was, the thought, before thought the anthem? Uh, I thought the Steelers version was whack. I thought the Cowboys version was whack. I thought it was a cop out to try to please both sides. Yeah, I thought that was super corny. I keep telling people just stop watching NFL. Stop, just stop supporting it. Like all that kneeling, like the players. I think every player just don't play. But the ratings are down. Yeah, but the ratings need to be all the way down. Players need to not show up. Oh, I'm so tired of the Lakers pumping this up. I've seen about 90 reports that say Ingram is stop, ready to make to symbol. make the leap. <laughs> I hope so. Ingram has grown four inches since last <laughs> last summer. Yo, the Lakers fans will just <laughs> say anything. Rob Palenka, look, he definitely has that Magic Johnson, Kobe, <laughs> Maul. Come on, Maul. Come on, Maul. This happens with every Lakers player, though. This is just a Lakers thing. We need something. Breaking news: They say that it's Wade like Wade Cowboys. has just signed to Cleveland. Yeah, That'd be cool. Is that true? Yeah. We knew that already, right? Yeah. We knew all of this shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got to give Maul credit. He said Melo wouldn't be a Nick before the that season way, was up. That's what we're giving Maul credit for? <laughs> I the, did the say it. Maul said we, Joe gotta, we, we need air to breathe. I, I, I thought, thought he, wouldn't be, he would be a, a Nick. And I, I thought he'd be a Nick. No so I'm, did, I'm although I did not see him going to OKC. I'm never giving Maul credit for things. I definitely didn't see that. I thought it was definitely Houston. That's a culture shock like a motherfucker. Yeah, I thought it was definitely Houston. You go from fucking Times Square to... I, I don't like where the NBA is headed, though, man. All this super team and dudes built playing with... I don't I don't like this, man. Do I we don't, even need the Eastern Conference this year? I, that's what I'm saying. We don't, I don't need like about this. 16 I don't, teams. I don't like this, Yo, man. what is I the Eastern like Conference this. All-Star team going to be? Yo, people keep saying that. I don't think Cleveland is a lock to make the final. They're definitely coming out of uh, yeah, though. A lock like the past seven yes. years have yes. been? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Absolutely. They've been winning the Eastern Conference Finals in four and five games. Absolutely. And they'll do the same thing this year. Bet Who, money then. Who's, bet money then. Who's going to bet? Them? money then. Bet. bet. That's what I mean. I'm question. asking you to bet. I'm okay, saying that. Bet. I'm going to bet with you. What do you want to bet? Money. Okay, well, how much? <laughs> I don't know. That that LeBron, that the, the Cavs will come out the East? That's Maul's little trick right there. That the Cavs will come out of the East? That is not what I said, Maul. What, what, what are you saying? I said the Cavs have been coming out in four and five games. I don't think that happens this year. You said, yes, the fuck it does. I said, let's make a bet. That is the bet. I'm curious to know. That's a weird weird bet. That the (laughs) Cavs won't see six games against anyone in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Yes. I'm not ready to say that. Six games. Boston. Boston's going to six It's hard to say games. They'll come out. They'll come out. Injuries. Yeah, that's part of the game. They'll come out, Who do you think could dethrone them? Boston? I think Boston takes them to six. No way. No way. Yes way. We mean no uh-huh. There's a way. No, there's no, there's no way. What not are you now. <laughs> Why not now? Because they have too many interchangeable pieces now. Jeff tell, Green. Tell me more. Jeff Green. Tristan Jeff, tell Thompson. Him, fam, fam. You just He's, started, you started interchange- your argument with Jeff I'm just Green. saying. That, I, I'm not going to name the Jeff, obvious. Yeah, but don't you name Jeff Green. I'm not going to name the obvious. Don't, don't name, name LeBron. Don't name Jeff Kevin Green. Kevin Love. Don't name Jeff Green. Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> uh, Derek Rose. Isaiah Thomas, who might who who might not be back at full strength he'll and be, might not be back till February. And that means he'll be ready for the Derek Rose, who fucking leaves to go home when he feels like it. Only for the next time. Kevin Love. You don't expect him. He's not doing that to Bron. Kevin Love, who fucking shows up when he feels like I'll showing up too. whenever okay. he's on good terms with uh the coach That's LeBron okay. who already is on his next destination in LA <laughs> J.R. Smith who they are attempting to put at the one. Oh my god this is gonna be awesome mm-hmm. uh who else do we got here who else did you just name Amon Shumpert who was on the fucking Tiana Taylor tour and I love him what else we got come on tell me who else you got going on oh, that, that gives you that they're <laughs> such a fucking lock he wait is there now Still a top, he's still a top five shooting guard in the league. No, the fuck he is not. not no, the five. fuck he is name not. Name five shooting no, guards. Better. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> you can't name five shooting guards better than Dwayne Wade. Sure, I can. Okay, name him. If I think we're doing a podcast, I don't want to put the listeners oh, okay. through that. Yeah. But Dwayne Wade is not a fucking top five shooting guard in the league can't anymore. Name five better. He just got a buyout from his last team because he didn't they want to be want there. Oh, that's that the only reason. It's the only yeah. reason why because he... that's why. Yeah. Not because they didn't want him either. No, nah, I don't think it was that. They would take. They would, They're they rebuilding, would and he's fifty. Well, then they that's gave more him a problem. buyout. That's more. Of, then that's more of it. But I know. That's not. He's not. It's not like he does. His capabilities are. I can't believe that you named all them niggas like Cleveland was a lock to get to the. I don't think they're locks. They're the best team in the East. I think they're and going they still to have the, the best final ball. The on their team. I'm agreeing with you. Okay. Just not in four or five. I don't know about that. Boston has the talent to take them to six. I don't know about that. I think the reason why Boston was Boston so good is very was the young. heart. Yeah, like they're and very the heart young. is gone. The heart is in Cleveland now. Yeah. All right, I don't give a fuck enough about this shit. Come on, let's talk about uh, for the dick. Hey, <laughs> come on, man. Whoa. I don't ever want to talk about that. <laughs> don't put horns to that. <laughs> We are putting a horn to that. I'm more uncomfortable. Y'all know what I meant. I didn't mean a real dick. The fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> I'm talking know, about man. the challenge. When is when is yours coming out? I'm not doing. When are you an acad- oh. When are you an academics oh. doing? Oh, I think Trey. Yep. I think Trey could give me 20 minutes of hits. Fam. When is yours Yo. coming out? Wait, Whoa. all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, dog. First of all, mine is isn't coming out. <laughs> That's number one. Number two is mine isn't coming out. Right now, uh, when academics aren't doing one. No, struggle? we are not Yo. doing one now. Somebody tell me why everyone is having fun this way. <laughs> <laughs> you hate every challenge I that just, comes out. I every, swear every to God fun. I do. I do. I hate them shit. It's all the fun. You know why, man? It's just... Uh, you can't know. even explain it. Yeah, because it's like... I, I guess this is how the new niggas have fun. Or the new chicks have I don't know, man. The shit is like... You just look at it and you just got to be like, all right, I guess this is what they feel like doing this week. I don't know. Is everybody bored? Yes. Yes. I don't know how people are. <laughs> yes. Yes is the answer to that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo, opening Instagram, that is what I take away. Everybody is just bored. bored. See, the yeah, thing is, though, this is what you got Everyone realize. is walking away. Everyone is talking to no one on their phone. Yeah. Everyone but is this, taping their food. We're you, all bored together. This is what you got to realize, too, though. If You, you got to listen to these bars that some of these chicks are spitting up. They're letting you know exactly how much of a hoe they really are. I'm all gonna find. I was gonna say that. I'm gonna find the whole everywhere. Gonna find a way. They to let you know. Back. Listen so to the- they're using this as a mask to make it look of like course. it's just first. Okay. Of course. Tell me more about this theory. 
Are you not listening to some of them? Uh, I am. They're telling you what they're telling us what they would do for Dick. <laughs> Listen, though. <laughs> no, I, I feel like you're not listening. We need a Malcolm X bar in here somewhere. To bring I feel like you. Be, I feel like you be grooving too much. I feel like you be listening to them. Just kind of grooving though. You know who killing it? See, <laughs> <laughs> see, look, I knew it. I knew now, it. You know who killing it? Who though? killing so it? So we got a rap genius. Cas- Casanova wife is is killing them shit. I didn't see. She her. done did oh, two. She's, she's oh, done. Okay. She done. No, 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 no. See, all right. Now I didn't know that nobody saw him. So now I'm gonna find him. That's nah, it. those are kind of hard. Erica's was cool. Uh, Issa and and the there's, home there's girl. Was that was that was cool, but yeah. Mm. I still want to know why everyone's having fun this way. <laughs> <laughs> no one can tell me. Why is everyone having fun this way? How do you spell Casanova? Uh, C A S S O N. I found it. See, look. I'm on now. What you were this is about the second day. one. Let me gotta do that shit two times, bro. I ain't finished with that dick. He killed the pussy. I'm the witness for that dick. Mm-hmm. And with that chit chat for that dick. Catch me outside. How about that for that dick? Mm-hmm. Let you put me for my watch for that dick. Okay. Bitch, I'll get shot for that dick. Boom, boom, boom. I said a nigga. <laughs> that dick. He on the block right now. Hurry up for that dick. I like that. Be donkey of the day for that dick. Give me the biggest he high. Charlemagne for that dick. Mm-hmm. But naked for that bitch, he on parole. I fuck him with his ankle bracelet for that dick. You did that. I got a for that dick. I got a for that dick. Fuck up. I climb a gate for that dick. Oh, you blood too. Whoop, I'm free to hate for that dick. I love y'all. 50 cent on power for that dick. Whatever they say I did, I did that shit for that dick. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think she's body issues. That That's lives, her second one. That, lives really that was great. Now, everyone else, though. And then I got sent on. Write me something. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not writing for the dick. <laughs> Which writing for the dick is crazy. Mom. That's crazy. Mom. You're not going to record a reference track that she could do? Uh, hey, but listen, though. All how right. many no. dicks are these women talking about, though? See, because you niggas are sitting right thinking they talking about one dick. They talking about most of these days. These hoes going crazy, man. How come all thinks everybody is a hoe? Because they hoeing, man. They, everybody's not a hoe, mom. Okay. People, not everybody. People no. in relationships. No, absolutely. Yeah. I still want somebody to tell me how this fun started. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's what. See, no it, one will tell me. Niggas just be sitting around like, having fun. Yeah, that's that's the new fun. No, nah, that's not. Fun. Let me go viral. <laughs> that's yeah. the new fun. Let me go and viral. viral. Working. Cardi B started out going viral. Let me go viral. Have a number one fun. record after yeah, your these right. dick freestyle. Do. Wait a minute. Public service announcement. This is a mistake rant brought <laughs> to you by the Joe Button Podcast. You niggas out there that are trying to go viral, <laughs> we can tell. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> it's yeah. very different yes. from going viral. Yeah. We can absolutely <laughs> yeah, tell. Yeah, you look like, and you look like a go, clown. You're trying to go viral, man. Yeah, that's just crazy. Fred, why are you trying to go viral? You They're trying try- to go viral for the dick. <laughs> that's what they trying to do. Niggas trying to go viral oh, they gotta get, cause um, they're dicks. <laughs> These niggas are fucking the idiots. They gotta get Drewski and his girls uh for the dick challenge out of here. Very uh not I know we're having jokes. It was just not tasteful. He said, uh Khalif brought her, I'll sit in jail for that pussy. I thought that was really whack. I'm uh, sick of him. She said, uh Who's that fight that? for it, all lives matter for that dick. Oh, I'm sick I of just him. thought it wasn't eh. They two yeah. niggas that be trying to go viral. Who? Uh, Rory Drewski and his game. girl. <laughs> yeah. My, my I mean, twin. Drewski and his girl. I mean, whatever you want to call him. I call him Rory. They be trying to go viral. I'm off of that shit. All right. So nobody can tell me how this fun started. And it, when it was it a video. End. A woman put up a video of her doing that. But that was months ago. <laughs> no. I mean, in internet world, it was months ago, but it was really like last week. No, it wasn't really. Yeah. You know, things move pretty quick on the internet. So I one wish, day I seems like one year. Would st- I challenge y'all to stop. Making challenges, honestly, uh, for the no the, challenge, challenge for the dick challenge, <laughs> and then the second that we tell girls all the shit they do for the dick, they're gonna tell us we're you, lying. Uh, you started shit. the Soldier Boy challenge. You being a little hypocritical here, man. I did not start any challenge. You started. The I've Soulja never Boy challenged challenge. anyone. <laughs> so I've never challenged. You've anything. been in like fifteen uh, rap beefs. Yeah, that's true. That's challenging someone. I've never started a challenge. You started on the, the Soldier Boy challenge at yes, thirty-seven. What is the Soulja Boy all right, at thirty-six, you did. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know what that, I don't know what that Boy, is today. When Soulja Boy did the, did the Vlad shit when he was like, I've seen uh, to do it. Pow. Yeah, Joe did do that. And Joe started it. Yeah, he did do that. It's cool, man. Eh, it was funny. But, was you, funny. but you did 
That was funny. You started it. Oh, you're a yeah. challenger. God. <laughs> you started the challenger. You're a challenger. Maul, I'm, all, all right, my I'm bad. not my a bad. challenger. My bad. My bad. And stop calling me a dodge. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm none of that. All right, all right, let me see. What else is there important to talk about here? I had a whole list. Oh, God damn, why I got uh, 500 mentions? That scares me. <laughs> That's always nervous. <laughs> Whoa, I ain't tweet nothing in days. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. Oh! Friend of the show, Taylor Rooks. <laughs> Yo, I, that is the most delayed applause <laughs> ever. <laughs> I don't even know. This is so good, I don't even know if I want to talk about it yet. Because I already know what's going to happen here. I mean, you love shit like this. Huh? You love yeah, yeah, that's why I'm not even going to touch this yet. You want to talk about Wendy Williams' husband cheating? No. No. Yeah. Just out here trying to get their shit off, man. I don't want to talk about anything that's to do with Wendy Williams. Well, fine. Yeah, I don't fuck with <laughs> well, that's that's all we have. For I Rory. thought that was big news. <laughs> shit. Who is her husband? Kev. <laughs> Kev Williams. Oh, I never knew. <laughs> okay. Duh, Rory. All right. Use your Googles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, fine. So we won't talk about that either. Well, shit, ain't nothing else to talk about. Y'all want to talk about the real shit? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> talk, was, about the, uh, talk about the Taylor Rook shit. I don't know. I feel like arguing with you niggas right now. And I already know y'all about to say something stupid and piss me off because y'all <laughs> don't believe in mermaids or aliens. Uh, I, believe I believe in aliens. aliens. I don't believe in mermaids. I don't know but, about mermaids, yeah, though. Mer- mermaids I believe in aliens. I've been swimming before. I've never seen one. I've been high and seen aliens. Now, <laughs> that Mike is my man, but god damn it. I did watch this clip thinking only Joe Budden would agree with what Michael Beasley is saying right now. Um, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I 100% agree, and I'm 100% going to ask you why you don't. As soon as I can fucking figure You can out. research the human brain and nah, 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 right? Now, first of all, let me pause this. We have to get by the fucking excessive flirting here and get to the real meat and potatoes here. <clears throat> because this conversation only comes up if you're flirting. <laughs> mm, okay. You might be on This shouldn't like have been a three minute conversation on Taylor Rooks' podcast unless somebody was flirting. Now, let's listen to it. Okay. It says that the hint, like, we are only capable of using 10% of our. This is Michael Beasley brand. of the New York yes. Knicks. You believe that? Newly no, acquired. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's Taylor. Say it's true. I'm saying that's what people oh. say. That that is that so, is the consensus. So it's the consensus scientifically. So who was the guy that used the leaven that <laughs> made it okay to say everybody? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, st- stumped us there, Mike. No, 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 like, like he knew it was ten percent of your brain he? based on your brain. Who you don't have he? to be using eleven percent to know someone else. Ten, he's saying I'm ten percent. You're good 10%, point, like, Taylor. Everyone's ten percent. That is <laughs> that, not that, mathematically that, no, correct. That is not like, like someone. <laughs> no, 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 Taylor. Taylor. Good. Of How they both so mathematically this correct? Is be a if you're only using ten percent of something, that means you don't know the. I was gonna cut it off, but it's too fun now. You don't know the rest of the Yeah, you're right, Taylor. Taylor wants to I'm say right. so bad. What Perfect. the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know she do. You got to look at her fuck? face. Are you her facial expressions are funnier right? than I'm Michael Beasley. I'm the first Beasley. person in the world, right? Say I'm Adam. <laughs> Adam, 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 okay. When you bring right. up Adam, Adam and Eve, right. let him get his shit off. Let Mike get his shit off. I would have to surpass the number no. 10. No, okay, let me break this down for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, I'm Please. a doctor. I no, you're not. Out of brain. No, let a me doctor, finish. Listen, let listen, listen. Finish. I get what you're saying. A doctor. He said, he said, I get it. He said, he said, nothing. And she said, I'm a doctor. A doctor learns Wait. is man written. And everything oh, man a doctor okay. learned is man written. She gave so up with that. Okay. You can sit there and tell me you've learned it. And yes, <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> But it was a word that somebody else concocted. No, that's to, not what I'm saying. No, no, no. Your oh. argument was that the person that said 10% used more. And I'm no, saying no, that no, is not, not the truth. How do I stop it? On I'm done. Example. I hit done. Stuck on I'm done. That was painful. I would love to have that conversation with Bees. With what? I would love to have with the bees? conversation with Michael Beasley, yeah. I, damn, I can't say rap and he can say bees. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's fucking insane. But, 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 <laughs> his name is Michael 
Michael Beasley. <laughs> but we were talking about no we were talking about rap. Nah, he said bees. <laughs> okay. Why are you saying bees? That's his last bees. But no, no. But but it, BJ, it's still you not were as, related to. But it's still not as bad as saying rap when we're talking about a no, rap no. song. Is that your phone ringing? Uh, look at this. Look at a soundbite. My mom's calling. <laughs> Ma. Oh God. What? Oh, today Tuesday. Uh uh uh. Ma available? Ma, I, I'm I'm doing my podcast. You're on the podcast. You're on the podcast now. Say hi to the podcast. <laughs> Was that high? Hey. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Thank, thanks a lot, Mom. Bye. I'll, I'll call you back. All right. So, what, what were we saying? Ew, who wants to hear your mom put a sexy voice on? <laughs> oh, the oh, podcast? That, yeah, that was, whoa, creep me out. Uh, what were we talking? Oh, yeah, bees, Mom. No. All right. No. Go ahead. Have fun you, with yeah, it. Yeah, you got to wait. Sorry. Have fun with it. Oh, wait. Damn it. I got to get better with the soundboard. I need an intern. Uh, there, I'm back. Okay. I agree. <laughs> okay. I, I agree I, with bees. I agree with no so, evidence. Let's have I don't that. Know. Let's have that conversation much better than they did because <laughs> theirs was trash. Sorry, Taylor. Love you. Y'all don't think that there are people in the universe that can use more yes. than ten percent of their brain? I, I do, but Wait, I, I don't, you don't think. Don't, don't agree. But I don't think Fight. that it takes a le- <laughs> it takes a person to be at eleven no, percent no, no, to no, find no. out yeah, no, no. that oh, we came wait. to ten. I really thought that I was bringing that one in here for us to have like a real heated discussion. Well, how, how do you know? But you're, either way, you're, <laughs> I'm just assuming you're agreeing with me, Ma. What, what do you think? <laughs> do I think Mike was right about what he was saying? Yeah, I want to know your stance on this. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think he was right. But I, you know, I get like, for the debate sake, I get what he was trying to say, but he, he fell a little short. Nice. Sorry, Parks. There's 100 percent people in the world that use more than 10 percent of their brain. You think so? Well, yeah, you would think so. Well, I mean, wait, 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 Oh, I don't know what, what are we Parks clapping for. Well, Park, now you're always Park, hooked up Park. to the soundboard, and the aux is separate. So that makes way more sense. Yeah, I mean, Thank you, Parks. Oh, this is awesome beautiful. now. Well, I always feel like I think that autistic people use more than ten percent of their brain. I've always felt like that. I think they use a different part of their brain. Yeah, I think they use more of it too. I think people use ten percent of their brain differently, more efficiently. Yes, perhaps. that's my next question. If everybody and uses ten percent, is it the, the same, same, same fucking ten percent? Right. Then no. somebody explain idiots to me. <laughs> yeah, because I definitely feel like I use more of my brain. Yeah, I want. I think idiots is on like three. Oh well, maybe what the maybe what they're saying is you can you use up, up, up to ten percent yeah. of your brain. And I think it's different. I think some people use two. Of your brain. Yeah. Listen, yeah. while we're having all of these really radical conversations, y'all don't even want to hear uh, my idea how racism started. <laughs> no, if there's anything no, I want to hear today, that's all I want to hear. If anything I want to hear today, I want to hear how you feel. I want to hear how you feel. Racism started. I want to hear this. This I want. I need to hear. Wait, this. but wait. Well, do y'all have an idea how it started? I never even really thought about that, honestly. How it started? I never thought about how racism shit. started. Yeah, I never thought about how it started. But I would like to hear how you think it started. <laughs> I don't know if I was ready to share this with the world. Well, let's hear it. <laughs> Did but you I mean, flush this one out yet? My mom called already, so fuck it. No, uh, let's make this a judgment-free zone here, this next Always. part of the podcast, right? Always. But, I mean, if you're a super creative, <laughs> we're going to be qualifying already. Then, this is gonna be I mean, you should, you should try to think about this. Is there everything. mermaids involved in this? No, okay. I don't even think this is that deep. Okay. Honestly, I think that. This is going to be great. I think yeah, that. Joe says slavery. There was, we no, no, this. this we way before slavery. <laughs> because in my brain, how they oh, came up with start. the concept yeah. of racism uh, slavery was the solution in my brain. <laughs> okay. I think that... That makes sense. The group of whites and the group of blacks were just placed on earth. More, more, I'm listening to what already, you're saying, man. Already looking at me with the fucking Fordham face. <laughs> I'm listening to like, what you're saying. Not, not, not yeah. the Fordham University yeah. face. <laughs> no. no. Maul's not been to any university. I'm listening to what you're saying. Fordham, Fordham Road. Fordham Road face. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? I think that the, the first black and the first white or the first group of blacks and the first group of whites... We're put on earth, right? I then think that the white niggas were bored 
Same way we all bored now. This was a challenge. I think joke? the white niggas was bored and just chilling. Was it wasn't much to do back race, then. Racism challenge. I think the black niggas was wild. In this. <laughs> <laughs> I think the black niggas. <laughs> You know black niggas on Vincent Games? Those niggas was jumping. <laughs> they, jump, they, they, was, niggas, yeah. they were jumping. Yes, we in BC for a nigga to jump. Right. We just got here. You in the air now? <laughs> right. If I just start flying right now, <laughs> right. you're going to look at me weird. Right. You already look at me weird. Yeah, but anyway, exactly. okay. yeah, I think that the black niggas was wilding. I think that at some point, the whites, when they went to find find some do some research, they they found that they probably just weren't capable of doing some of the things that these niggas was doing over there. And we had to put an end to the fucking species. Let's fucking tie them all up and fucking control them and fucking, yeah, that's what I think happened. Yeah. I think niggas was jumping and create and playing rolling dice. I think niggas was doing some black nigga shit back in fucking oh, uh, oh 09. Oh well, nine. no, no nine. <laughs> no, oh no. nine. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> Back in oh, 09. Oh, 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 eight oh, years nine. ago, niggas was wild eight years ago. <laughs> no, nine. <laughs> I didn't mean, no nine. I mean nine, just nine. the number nine. Right. Yeah, I think niggas was wild in nine. Right, in nine, in nine. Right. It was a crazy year. Right. They put Will Smith in a movie with uh, by himself with his dog for two hours, and I thought he was wild. So if you put a bunch of black <laughs> niggas on the planet in nine, yes, I think that the white niggas was hating. Yeah, Joe, I think, I think we got that part. I think that's accurate. <laughs> I'm rolling. Right. I'm somehow, rolling. somehow, I think, I think there's up. truth one in that. One person yeah. at a time. That's how I, I think you got, you got your one. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you got your one. Maul is laughing at me. I'm just saying. But I am 100 percent serious. Uh, these are one of the thoughts that I have in my head that I just don't well, wouldn't share with somebody. But yeah, yeah I don't 100%. think that's a stretch. I mean, maybe the well, nine the first, part. You know. <laughs> the first enslaved people was not a black and white thing, so I don't know if it started there. Some of the white man. Listen, in nine, <laughs> <laughs> the whites was bored or whatever they was back then. They was, the aqu- black, they was acquiring shit. And, they and, was acquiring and shit. the black niggas back then was some, you know, the Egyptian niggas, they was some wild super niggas. Them probably niggas was probably swimming 900 miles. They had a lot, the of, white ice, niggas, a lot of ice on them. And when I think it was about glossy. it, I didn't want to talk about it until more <laughs> forced my hand. And I apologize to all my white listeners because I love y'all. Joe really we flipped do the six y'all. upside down. Huh? You really flipped a six upside down. <laughs> it's a nine now. <laughs> uh, let me see. I feel like there's something else really, really important that we are missing. We definitely missing. Yeah, we oh, went on because we anytime we start this podcast, uh, we just start freestyling. Maul's, Maul's homeboy T Rex was caught on that oh, summer jam shit. screen. <laughs> Yo, so somehow homeboy, when right? we be when when we be oh, about to end the podcast. Our main point that I thought we should open the podcast with creeps creeps in here. Wait a goddamn minute, Rex. One, one dot mob minute. Rory, are you gonna find the clip? <laughs> Rexy. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh man, Rexy. Gotta I call got you Rexy man. now. <laughs> And you, my man. That's my man, but you, Jesus my man. Christ. Shout out to Harlem. Shout out to Murder Mook. I'ma still put the murder there. Mm. But Rexy, <laughs> God, this has opened the floor for very important dialogue. Let me express this to our listeners, both old and new. I have struggled with a question for a while, but because. Men have to be strong and prideful. I have been too insecure to confide in my male friends to get answers. But my man, Rexy, here we are. I think that T-Rex, and Rex, I'm joking, of course. You know you're my guy. The listeners don't know, but listeners, Rex is my guy, so I'm kidding, but I'm not. Uh, Disturbing footage has leaked. It was disturbing. Now, everybody may not know who T-Rex is. T-Rex is one of the most storied, famous uh, battle rappers from Harlem. Uh, I don't think originals. Yeah, I don't think it's a stretch to say T-Rex is iconic and legendary in his field. Mm -hmm. T-Rex has caught many a, many a, many a, many a body. Pause. Pause. Uh... But uh, T 
T-Rex has been on a um he's been a bit suicidal in the last few battles. Who killed him? They said uh who was that that killed? Clips. Clip, yeah, Clips in that third. Not round. sure that he ever really recovered from that Clips that Clips round. And uh, somebody killed Sean. him. Oh. Yeah, that was it. That was bad. Clips and Shine back to back. But we don't give a fuck about any of that shit. <laughs> right. He's definitely killed more than he's gotten killed. For sure. Yeah, 100%. But we don't care. Uh, footage has leaked of... Uh, of uh, I'm uncomfortable. This is not a sex... Uh, it's a, uh, a sex snap. <laughs> <laughs> a sex snap. First of all, you're really fraudulent if you have a sex snap. <laughs> Just open the camera, man. <laughs> Why are you on Snap recording it? But anyway, that's none of my, that, but see, none that's my business. I think the biggest problem was about this. Oh, it's mad. Dog it's filter. mad big problems. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of big problems here, Pause. Like, if you if it Whoa, was just a no, regular... Oh, no, we ain't get there yet. All right, go ahead. For the people that do not know, Rex or, or, or his lady put out a sex snap. And when I say sex snap, it is a Snapchat story of him eating her vaginal area. Mm. With his eyes open, <laughs> the young lady was kind enough to put a really giant <laughs> emoji over her vaginal area. <sighs> There's also like some little cartoon character holding the emoji <laughs> holding that's the emoji. covering her vaginal area. But all of that is fine so far. I don't know if that's... But yeah, it's, yeah. Listen, okay, I, I, I can't judge him yet in the story. I have put out very provocative pictures when I was on Molly with... Kaylin all those years ago. <clears throat> yeah. So I can't judge him yet. Sure. But there's text. <laughs> there's audio here. And in the audio, I mean, it's really uncomfortable. So I don't. Uh, can you play it? Just play it. You being a good dog? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Whoa. Pause. <laughs> no, really. The pause button. <laughs> <laughs> it's both. <laughs> oh, hey. Wait. I, I just, wasn't ready. I just realized I, that the emoji I is laughing ready. and the woman holding the emoji oh is also God. laughing. So there's a dog filter have, on T Rex. Rex didn't even have a shape up. <laughs> he got bags under his eyes. He's sleepy. Yeah, how, you eating, how you eating pussy tired? You're not camera ready. This nigga's crazy. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not <laughs> even camera ready to be putting you're out a sex ready, snap. Like, oh but this young lady has a dog filter on T Rex's face. One of the most aggressive killer battle rappers we've ever seen. And it's got the got the puppy emoji. You being a good dog? Right, you're a big dog. Mm-hmm. Heard you. Heard you. She said, "Heard you." <laughs> Do you know what "heard you" means? Yeah, you you a bitch. <laughs> 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 I'll slap the shit out of you. <laughs> I can tell you all the things "heard you" means. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you might get punched after I yeah, heard you. Yeah, word. Heard you is oh like say God. something else. Shut up. Say less. Damn. Heard you is you should say less now. Not my nigga. Right. Listen, more, more. Yeah, man. Where do we even start here? This goes back to what I was saying. She asked that nigga if he was a dog. Wow. <laughs> he has. <laughs> the dog filter <laughs> that she applied. <laughs> and he responded. Yes. That's the problem. There's way too much wrong here, which is why we. I, I'm confused. So... So, the do's and don'ts of sex talk. Because why are we laughing? Tell me. Well, I'm not talking about the visual. I'm not talking about the, the dog filter on your face. Mm -hmm. She said, uh, what did she say? You being a good dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so let me, just, let me start this off because everybody looks a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not really with... Anything where I have to talk back to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I have to answer you, like, if it's like a really detailed, are you a good dog? <laughs> I'm looking up at that point. I'm not going to continue to fucking. That. That'll be ignored. Hell yeah. I feel like he tried to ignore it and she said it again. <laughs> and then he answered it. 
like a fucking good dog. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot Confirming. make. I cannot make this stuff up. I want somebody in the room to tell me the do's and don'ts of sex talk. If you are a man, I don't think that, that Rex is pussy. I think Rex probably has killed people before at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that one off. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't doubt. I ain't sleeping on his gangster at all. But I mean, I mean, when I see you with the dog filter and I see the young lady ask. Are you a good dog? And you ignore her, and she ain't really riding with it being ignored. And she asks you again, and then you answer it. Then you mad obedient, my G. <laughs> <laughs> that go, but yo, that goes back to what I was saying. Yo, I don't ever want to be called obedient don't ever. Be, don't, <laughs> don't be, don't, like, don't be. You never know. You never Jeez, know how niggas man. get down in the room. In the that bedroom. could be. His, his that be style. I always say that niggas be the toughest niggas and the realest niggas, and then females be having you in compromising situations, man, in the bedroom. It ain't no time I would else. like us to explore this conversation that even shit is further. Crazy, man. That's why I never vouch. I'd be like, yo, give no, me. I don't, uh, I don't really want to be emasculated when I'm having sex. Yeah, no. no. That's, that's kind of where I, mean, I draw the, the line. You're not they... filming me eating your box. No and yeah, and, and the light is clearly on. Uh, you see that you're being filmed. That's not happening. I hate right. when Maul does this. I'm not doing that. Not so, doing no. So now, if we making, hold on. You're not holding. If we got a camera set up, that's different. But you're not going to have a camera with the light right here in my face while I'm licking you. That's not going to happen. Yeah, not, you, it's just not good camera work. It's and not, you're in you're mad control. Yeah, we, we're not doing <laughs> You're in control of too many things. Right. And why Wait, is this definitely his to... girlfriend? And who said that was a girlfriend? I don't know. That's even worse, I, though. I, that, I changes, that changes everything. That does everything. change a lot. Because if that's the side chick and we find out, we're going to revisit this next and week. And if you letting someone that's not your girl film you having sex. This goes back this to is... what I'm saying. <laughs> Was this a case of Mendeecees having his cake and eating it too? He was eating Because when he wasn't with Yandy, I mean, if that was, was he with Erica? <laughs> when he wasn't with Erica, would he be back with Yandy? Good question. Because if both women carried to term, the pregnancies would have some overlap. <laughs> He's got a point. It was refreshing, it was refreshing <laughs> to hear that again. It's been he was a while. definitely eating the cake. We ain't heard that in a while, right? <clears throat> yeah, that was refreshing, man. That's classic. Tell me, what, uh, tell, do y'all respond to things during... I don't think really want to have a lot of conversations. I'm not a huge respond. dialogue person. It depends on what it is. Are y'all what saying? It depends on what she's asking. Give me an example. She asked that nigga if he's a good doggy. All right, no, that's <laughs> preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even, like, that, that, I've never even like, said that I was word. Yeah, say, I've never said no. I've, I've never, never been a good doggy. Can't in my life. spell it. That's mad peace. That yeah. is preposterous. I've never been a good doggy in my life. Ever. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't say nothing. The hand. Don't do a hand. I didn't say nothing. Okay, so now, all right. My next question would be. Are you asking things that warrant an answer? Lie. Now lie. Do I ask questions? I'm asking all you niggas. Look, Look at Chris now fixing the camera. You too, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> well, some women are different. Some women are more vocal, and I may play to that because that's what they do. And some oh. women are quiet. It kind of depends who I'm dealing with and what the energy is. In I would love room. to be a fly on the wall and, and see how you niggas <laughs> talk in the bedroom. I, I, I don't. I can I, tell you. I talk right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's not talking. Though. That's just a sound effect. You had. To, I'm, tell, I'm telling. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't tell me what my talking is. It's not talking. You don't never just hit him with a little. <laughs> We're not gonna do, we, can't, low, uh? we can't do this. We can't do this. Though. We're not gonna get past this. We can't do. This. Is, All right. is that in between her talking as an ad lib or are you just busting out a uh? No. Nah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you wanted a little thinking behind it, I hit him with the straight, straight quiet until, I mean, you got to let him, you got to encourage him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, that other guy got too much bass in it. It's kind of like... More the nigga that just encouraged him with words like, yo, you're doing it. Oh. The, the soft oh, talk man, shit? Yo, that feels crazy. For sure. Dude. Soft talk. <laughs> Me. Oh, oh my yeah. God. That is so trash. Maul is trash. A missionary in the ear. Maul is soft talking. <laughs> He's soft talking. He's L.O. Cool J in the ear. I t- I'm a talker, yes. I talk, I talk to women. During sex? Yeah. That's the only time you talk to him. <laughs> Wait. What are you saying? Do whatever I feel like saying. You like cheese. Like what? You? you like cheese in your grits? <laughs> you got to ask questions about the after sex. All right, so you are asking things that weren't a response. Hell yeah. Are well, you asking Do what you... she wants to eat after sex, during yeah. sex? Yeah. You're going to kill two birds with one. Yeah. 
Do you care if she's honest? No. No. I think that is a big misconception. So she says salad women. while she's I don't know. Women, 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 have, women swear we care. Women have <laughs> definitely said I love you and ho- I hope they were lying. I you've hope, definitely it, I hope said, it was a lie. You've definitely said it back. No. Fuck out of it. I don't believe Rory's See, no, Rory I don't, is a liar. I don't believe, tell me I don't believe you've never wrong. said I love you back to a girl that you didn't love. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. During wait, wait, sex, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. During sex? I have said I love you to a woman I love. Oh, wait a minute. I'm wait. saying you said it to women you don't wait, love. Before nah, he answers, before he answers, okay, so he answered, fuck. I wanted to be the person to tell you guys. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> saying I love you to bitches you don't love is swag. <laughs> oh, shit. That shit is so much fun. Too complicated so for me. Much. Now I'm telling you, once you do it mm-hmm. once, it, it feels it's so easy. good. And you just keep doing it. It's natural after that. Because then it's it your go to line. No, because you're going to say it. She's going to say it back. And that's your verbal agreement to live in the lie. <laughs> I think women kind of uh, know. When you don't. I think women know when you're you. just saying you love them when you're hitting it. But though. it I feels so know. good to lie to them. It feels good like, and they know. Yeah. I, I listen. I fully automatic that I love you after it went the first time. It's like, oh shit, that worked. I love you. I, I love that you. Was easy. I still love you. I still. Yo, I still love you. Yo, I'm, I'm loving you more. Yo, I can love you more than this. It's crazy how much I'm loving you. <laughs> we in love. I just thought giving a man love bars. Yo, <laughs> I'm surprised. No? I still love you. <laughs> All right, see, we can't have a transparent Holy conversation. Oh, we can. Let's do it. I can't tell you. I'm not keeping I, I it said, up. I'm a Rory's talk. lying. You lying. How? Parks what is I quiet. About? Chris is still fixing the camera. No, nah, I didn't lie. <laughs> I, 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 I told you what I say, nigga. I keep it a buck. Why you can't Windex a camera? <laughs> Why <laughs> like, you can't Windex What is this nigga doing to the camera? All right, fine. They don't want to keep it real. Is this nigga still calling me to get this money? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's usually what happens, bro. That nigga is... Not, it's been a three years. <laughs> Do we care that uh, Anthony w- Weiner? Never mind. This nigga's name is Weiner. Already know, yes. This nigga's crazy. Do Sorry. we care? No, right? No. No? No. Uh, Maul's little sister got pregnant by Travis. Mm. Maul's going to be a godfather. <laughs> Congrats, bro. Wait, how, how is that Maul's sister? Because Chloe, he said, is his sister, Maul, and she's related uh, yeah. to a Kardashian. the other one. Okay, right. Maul's Chloe's brother. Right, okay. And Shorty's having a baby. I'm following she, she did Chris, text, you hear this shit, she, Chris? Pardon me, Maul, we're lying. Oh, my bad. She definitely texts Maul to be the godfather that's of the baby. Yeah. And that's she it. She might have hit Maul, Yo, Maul with what, what should I do? You. Well, they just announced that uh, Chloe's pregnant as well. Did they? Yeah. To your group chat or to the world? <laughs> no, this is... <laughs> This is to the world. I didn't see that. I just. I it's just to, the it. to the world in his inbox. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Chloe's pregnant for real by a homeboy? Uh, yeah. Who's she dating? Tristan. Tristan. I don't know. It's still a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's still I'm not a, up to date a, with my Kardashian a, dating rumors. A thing. All right, well, let's congratulate the lovely couple on whatever. Uh, <laughs> did we get, did we I, get everything? I, f- I fear for Travis. I feel like it's something really important that I wanted to hit that we're not hitting. Hold on, I got the uh, let's see uh, Janae's album. Oh my god, some Janae's album's crazy. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> I more of your Janae's album. I listened to like four records last night. Yeah, I, I like what I heard so far. Though. I like what I heard. I like it a lot. My only critique would be chopping like. A few records off it. I don't who, think it needed to be did, 21 did, did, uh, no idea records. Do it? No, I was a bunch of different producers. I don't think uh, so. Side note, the record that we played a year ago, New Balance, that's on there now, we all thought that was about Big Sean naturally because she had just broke up with Homeboy. Sean, in the Twitter beef, was like, put out the record, Janae. Uh, her ex wrote and produced that record. That we all thought was about Big Sean. I thought that was kind of interesting note when all the credits came out. Yo, that he was a writer to and her producer ex on that. For still getting a check after he, he produced four or five records on the album. Nice. No, wait a minute. Cash out, my brother. You're not telling me that he wrote that record. He was a writer on it and a producer on it. So Can't he was say he wrote one the of the thing. writers and one of the producers on a record that his eventual ex girlfriend dedicated would end up singing to Big Sean. You got snuff Big Sean now. <laughs> <laughs> no, and not only that, Sean was the rollout. Sean tweeted, Janae, put that out tonight, and she put it out on SoundCloud. You might have to score up after that. Sean been looking like he need to get snuffed anyway. Depends on how much no. you got paid. Sean don't bother nobody. 
How do you know who Sean bothers? <laughs> <laughs> Besides you. How do you know that? People say things so fucking matter-of-factly. Sean doesn't bother anybody. <laughs> Except for Kid Cudi and Kendrick. First of all, Sean. Don't Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what Sean does. <laughs> Big Sean is fine. Pause. Now. Oh, I don't want to touch mystical, but pause. <laughs> you got to pause that with mystical allegations, man. Why would mystical go back to jail for rape again? <laughs> Yo, uh. I, no, honest, that's a serious question to me. I know it sounds funny. I, I, can't, I don't even know how to answer that. I have like, nothing on that. that. That's just like, I don't get it. But I, I will say this, though. He might be sitting up for a while now. I would think it's so. It's a second. It's a second offense, right? For the same type of charge. Yeah, I don't think they just let us off, letting you off scot free for the double rape no, <laughs> whammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, mystical. Uh, that's crazy, man. Caught the second charge for that pussy. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Too far. Anyways, young Dolph got shot. <laughs> We're taking a break. <laughs> Dolph got shot. And we are back live at the Joe Button Podcast, episode one. Did, did you, you, you are off. <laughs> I thought we took a break. We did. <laughs> all right. All right. So fine. Yeah, you off. Uh, do y'all care about uh, Homeboy? Uh, homeboy? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do, y'all, <laughs> shut up. do y'all care about Homeboy saying, uh, giving us the details and where he slobbed Usher off at? Huh? No. Pause. Uh. Homeboy Not when you that said that he way. contracted uh, herpes from Usher uh, is now giving us the details. Been, I don't really care about anybody else's out. sex life, really, honestly. I didn't care either until the story Especially was announced. Especially now when it's two dudes. Don't disrespect them. Well, that's why I care. They fucking, they getting it on in a fucking real popular spot in L.A. <laughs> 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 Damn Koreatown. Why are they in it's, there? It's I feel LA, like there should be a place for that. I mean, there probably he, is he a place up, for that. He fucked up at the Beverly Center, so I guess he had to move to a different place <laughs> to be hand in hand. Hey, what's up with you today? It's, it's <laughs> confession <laughs> reference, man. <I> <laughs> All right, I'm getting off of this. <laughs> man, I, I ain't about to have the gay people kill me. <clears throat> well, shit, if that's the case, then God damn it, we covered everything. They traded Mellow for a fucking sabrette, and that's the end of it. For real. Uh, <laughs> shit. No? I'm lying? I just don't understand why. Oh, but I do. Fucking... They, they don't have a lot of plans for Noah to be there much longer because I didn't understand the cancer sign. So there is another trade coming. There is another trade coming. They have five for centers. For the Knicks? For sure. For sure. Yeah, they have five centers on the roster. <sighs> Did you see the picture of the big three they posted on their Twitter? I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I need to know who the big three were for the Knicks. It was Porzingis. Hernan Gomez, Porzingis, <laughs> and Nikolai Volkov. <laughs> Nikolai Volkov? The rest Why did you say that with such a good <laughs> Russian accent? <laughs> Whatever the nigga name is. Joe also wants to name his son Novak, so I think he can pronounce I Russian do names. I not want to name my son Novak. That was the old name. <laughs> that was in consideration? That wasn't running? No. Sin said no. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God she my got dad it. said no to Joe, yeah. we were outside, and, and Joe brought that up and got Novak. laughed off the driveway. When I didn't think that was such a horrible fucking... Novak is bad. You still wish you still wanted to play Novak in that playoff series. That's what you're still tight about. <laughs> <laughs> you know he should play. You know he should play though. For real, nigga shot 51 percent from the field. He should have played. And Sean Bradley had a double double. We Ma. know. Yo, Joe's brain is so crazy. To me. He's still holding on to that. Name Only you Novak. know that I'm still holding on to that. By the way, I know. When? But you're right though. You're absolutely Where's right. Where's Steve should, Novak? Is he playing still? I think yeah, he's, he's not an announcer year. now. I think he was with the Raptors last year. I think I'm not sure. Oh, speaking of announcing, Tony is Tony Romo doing a good job. What do y'all think? Yeah, I think it, I think no? his y'all predicting thing is. No, I, <laughs> do, don't give a I fuck. do care. I, it hasn't annoyed me. That's that's all I really care about. Look, look what niggas go off of. Yeah, announcers annoy the shit out of me a lot of times. So, all right, Chris cool. Collinsworth, fucking all the motherfuckers. Just... Uh, do we want to talk about Richard Sherman's uh, comments about injury reports in Vegas? Yeah, uh, yeah. he's right. He's definitely right. Why else? Why else? <laughs> why else? Okay. That He's right. Richard Sherman. We, we give no fucking backstory at all to people who are unfamiliar. Richard Sherman says that the sole uh, reason that injury reports exist in the NFL are is so Vegas could uh, give correct odds. 
Ansel, I agree. Ansel Belichick can over lie. under. Yeah, why else total. would anybody, why why else would we care? It's always about money. It always comes back to money, man. Yeah. All of this shit is about money. That's it. Simple. As much as people try, it's the sport. It's the love. It's the passion. No, it's the money. That's who, all. It who is. ever says it's not the money? <clears throat> a lot of people. Oh please, a lot There's of people. There's integrity in sports. <laughs> There's integrity. Yeah, I know. FBI arrests Adidas executive in massive NCAA corruption bust. Yeah, yeah we man. know. You niggas are paying the high schoolers. We understand. It's all about the money. Trump on delivering aid to Puerto Rico. This is an island sitting in the middle of an ocean. It's a big ocean. It's a very big ocean. <laughs> I mean. Where's the ox? <laughs> it's plugged in. You That's not the ox. You have the ox. Give me the ox. Fucking, uh, he could have said that. Yeah, he said that. We've gotten A pluses on Texas and on Florida, and uh, we will also on Puerto Rico. But the difference is this is an island sitting in the middle of an ocean, and it's a big ocean. It's a very big ocean. And, uh, he's got it. Yo. I think he ended it with, we're doing a great job, by the way. I'm you sure. cut it off too quick. I just want to hear how, you know, I still can't believe he's. How do we let? How do we let this happen? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the question. Yo, he's like eighty-five. Like we, we let old white grandpa become the president of the United States. No, we and let a, a reality retard. TV oh, my bad. person can't say a word who doesn't care about uh, anybody other than his. Oh, well, y'all ain't department. vote. God damn it! <laughs> no, we voted. He won. Hillary won New York. I was gonna say yeah, my, my neighborhoods. Representatives. We oh, did yeah. our part. Well, y'all about to you know. tell me if we're Hillary won Astoria. <laughs> <laughs> won, won this exact win, block. <laughs> she did win the popular vote. She just lost won this the, building. The electoral. I don't care enough. I'm fucking already in 2020. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I'm not paying a shit any mind here. Uh, I can't believe y'all didn't care about Kev Williams. <laughs> For real. I nigga live a double life, and y'all cared none. This is the Wendy Williams we thing again. I, 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 mean, I, I just shit last I week. just think the term double life is funny. <laughs> it's not a double life. <laughs> well, did it's Wendy it's the same did life. Wendy <laughs> It's one life. Did Wendy do the gossip thing she does on her show yeah, about yeah, her? Yeah, she did. She addressed it. She oh, did. good for her. That's the yeah. one nice thing I'll say about Wait, Wendy. Wait, so he had At a whole second family type shit? It, it, yeah. His name it seems like in, a lot of work. His name is in the chick mailbox. Oh, that's wild. Somebody took a picture of the mailbox. Should I listen to Maul's rant last week? Wendy Bennett's predicament. It's true. That is true. Uh, to help you niggas. That, uh, <laughs> now you I don't think mail. there's anything else that happened that I care about. Uh, oh, him and her. I was about to say that him How and her. How do we skip him and her? Him and her battle has oh, started. Oh, wait a minute. This is fucking epic. <laughs> this is amazing here that him and her are beefing. Him, the artist. Well, that's crazy to even mention him before her. All right, so her. But yeah, because her get mad. I feel like him and no, her listen no to the chival- podcast. No chivalry for you. Her... Is H E R? Duh. Thanks, Joe, for that groundbreaking analysis. Uh, her is mad at him, and her came out first. Her is signed to RCA. Him mm-hmm. is signed to him. Him. And wait, to himself or to a label named him? No, him. Okay. Well, how Self. do you know his record label isn't called him? I, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. Maybe it's his record label. Who's, is the name? That'd be him? hard. <laughs> his record label should be his record label. That should be the name of it. I wonder if he's mad. Sophia did it. <laughs> oh. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen. Her is mad at him because her has put out two amazing EPs. If you have not heard them, go do your due diligence. Great projects, but him has piggybacked off of the releases of these projects and he has replied to every one of her song titles with songs and song titles. No, really. The song titles are replying <laughs> to hers. I thought that was creative. I didn't think it was. Yeah, but at some point it becomes like, all right, you just blatantly just blatantly jocking. what? You jocking? Oh come on, you jocking? The whole blueprint. Jo- you jocking what? Her, her face is not on a fucking cover. She's doing. She's mad mysterious. The the music thing, is great. What what is he jocking? If, if he was whack, like the twenty seven Savage artwork. shit, that was whack because the music wasn't good. This Him is made good really music. good music. No, it, nobody's talking about the music. I don't think she's talking about. Mad about the music he's creating. I think she's more so talking about everything around the music. Of... Yeah, like the way well, he's marketing Well, here's himself. her response. This is what she tweeted. It's never cool to copy someone's whole concept and call it a quote-unquote response to try to come up, be you, be original. 
Nah, that's not true. No scrubs, uh, no scrubs, and uh, no, no pigeons. <laughs> no pigeons. It, they both was cool. Yeah. <laughs> they both again, was super that hard. Was a, that was just one, a record, a song. And this was only six records and songs. Yeah, no, but no, he's used well, his artwork. Name, yeah, the name, the, 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 come on, his name is him. Yeah, but come on. I'm not man. claiming her. I'm not crediting her for her. But the way I'm right. just talking about everything else. <laughs> right. is just like it's just you could tell that he, he he's taking it directly from everything she's doing. I'm only playing devil's advocate right no, now. No, I, totally, I, just, I totally, I totally understand. I understand why she feels some type of way. I do understand that. What can she do about it? I don't think I don't she should have said I anything. I don't, to I don't be know honest, she can do anything about it. Honestly, she doesn't really speak to begin with because he's I not selling the music, right? He's not selling. It's probably yeah, strange. No, he's selling. Nah, but you sure, can still get sued for shit. I bought even it. if you're not selling it. No. But I don't think the. I think. I think what she was trying to say, and we broke this story on this podcast months ago. But glad to see it manifest. I think what she's trying to say is he's also piggybacking off the style sonically. I don't think it's just her likeness and how she's marketing the shit. Well, a lot of R and B sounds like that now. Her yeah. happens to do it a lot better than everybody, but that's still the sonics of what the time is right now. But him, his EP is really good it's too, great. though. It's great. Oh, well. So we won't see the them tour that Maul <laughs> said they should go on. Him and her, no. We definitely won't see that. Or this is setting up for the them tour. Maybe they make up. That's trash. <laughs> and, and the record is we made up. Oh, that's stupid. I don't want to see them. Now nah, I don't want to see them. Fuck out of here, them. <laughs> Keep beefing. Um... Tank's album comes out this Friday, but y'all don't care because Tank is old. Nah, I fuck Tank, Tank has great records. Hell yeah, man! I'm playing sleevers. <laughs> a Boogie album is this Friday too, though. I'm looking forward to hear what that's about. A Boogie's album is Me this too. Friday, 29th. Yeah. Oh shit! Good for him. Let's see here. I will go first because Tank's album comes out this Friday. Tank is also on tour. Um, the Savage Tour, the name of the project is Savage. My Sleeper this week is from Tank. Um, is it from Tank? <laughs> Maybe I want to play something else. I got a few options, by the way. I have two options. I'm not Talk sure. Talk that shit. You Amani options. Project still out there. Yeah, I got options for my fucking sleeper. <clears throat> we should just play an Amani record in the meantime while we figure these. And we should play this for more. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute! Uh, yo, you should do your foot of pussy challenge over this. <laughs> I would never disrespect Stevie like that. All right, well, just do one then. Not over Stevie. Just do it now. No. No. <laughs> right now, you should do one. This nigga won't do foot of pussy. Fine, back to Stevie. Stevie don't need to get on two knees again either. <laughs> Yo, stop, man. Just stop. Stop. We're not doing that. Not to Stevie Wonder, man. We're not going to do that. We're not laughing at Stevie Wonder. I'm sorry. We got to draw the fucking line somewhere. Not Stevie. I don't care. Niggas, no. No. Nobody said nothing, no. <laughs> no, but I saw where it was going, so I stopped it immediately. Because you was waiting. You, you, had, you got three more waiting, I know. Because just... I got nervous when he went down, so I said, wait. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, that knee whoa. gave out. That's where I, I was wait. going. Like, listen, I listen the wait. process ain't important, right. but five niggas got to help you get on the I, I, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Y'all talking about Stevie. <laughs> we get it, Stevie. Uh, yeah. Yo, you're, you're yeah. fine. We know yeah, where you, you stand. You repping with us. <laughs> listen, no. Y'all talking about Stevie. I still don't know if Bill Russell got up from his knee. Because <laughs> that picture he took, I said, wait. Not Bill. They don't got Bill on my knee like that. Not, not the champion himself. That's crazy. <laughs> Ray Lewis looked wild. Ray Lewis was reenacting the murder in his head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? These fucking football player niggas. Listen, I'm getting I'm fucking up early, uh, about to get ready for work, but the TV's still on from last night, right? So channel ID is on. They showing the Ray Carew story. Do y'all know Ray Carew is about to get out? For <laughs> mm-hmm. I had no idea. Next year. Yeah, he's been, How many what, years 15? has it been? Something like that. Well, probably longer than that. How was he That was out? 92. The case was 90. Nah, it was later than that. The, no, the, though the crime was in 92 oh, the and the case been. was in 94, 95. It might so have been like 25 later than years. 24 really? Years? Yeah. Like 01. 01. 01. Yeah, it was, 01. It was later. It was, 01. It was late. At least it was, late. It was so, 01, so, so 02. He did, so he did 15 years. Damn. 
Yeah. Oh, we gotta. We we should end. Cause speaking of crime shit, that Menendez brothers Law and Order shit is tonight at ten. I mean, if you're listening oh, to this, you, you can't watch it. That was yesterday, was yesterday, by the way, but... because today's Wednesday. <laughs> but that Menendez brothers, oh man, I hope Dick Wolf don't fuck it up. I don't see him fucking that he up. He better not fuck it up because these little eight mini part. I was, he got pressure though because that OJ shit was fucking immaculate. And I think that's probably the structure they're going to use. The for OJ this. shit was great. I'm still on the Unabomber shit because that was great. And while we're on shows and we Unabomber were getting the sleepers. Netflix or Channel ID? No, uh, Discovery Channel and slash Channel ID. Oh, okay. It was both of them. The center finale was phenomenal. Parsh, you don't watch The Center? I'm not hip. You would like The Center. You would like The Center. What channel is that on? The Center is on USA. USA okay. recently with, uh, I just started Mr. Robot, by the way. I heard that's really good. That's USA too? Yes. Okay. USA recently is intensifying their their show Shooter, shooter is, is intense. Shooter is pretty good, yeah. The Center is all about, it opens with a white girl Killing some white nigga on the beach and nobody Someone's knows in why. That shit. Someone big, Jessica right? Biel. That's what it is. And she bodied it. Yeah. Great. It's great. It's great. I started Mr. Robot. They're on season three. I started episode one, season one, two days ago. And that shit was crazy. It's crazy. Remember when well, wait, Stars that, it was the decline if you ended up on TV? And wait, wait, wait. Like cause, the wave? Right. Wait, because I'm going to forget TV my got fucking better. thing. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, no, no, no. Mr. Robot, I've been echoing how. I kind of agree with the Unabomber in theory, not in action. Right. Mr. Robot seems to be on that same wave. Okay. I like all the niggas that listen. And while I'm at it, I just recently followed this guy on Twitter. Yes, I fell for it. <laughs> I fell for it. And then I'm playing a sleeper because I've said enough for niggas to judge me on this podcast. Not Gordon Banks. Who's this nigga, Elon Musk? The That's Tesla guy? Yeah. I've recently been reading into him. I like him. <laughs> yeah, a lot, this of, a lot of people like him. All right, Kanye. Him, <laughs> Dr. Sebe, Sebe, what's my man's name that Dr. said, Sebe. you fucking right, him? He's, he's passed away. Mike so. Bees, I know, rest in peace, Mike Beasley. <laughs> B.O.B., <laughs> Lil B., all the visionaries, God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Tank album coming where out we, this Friday. It is called Savage. It's not going anywhere. It's the fucking podcast. I don't know what we fucking doing here. Uh, this record is called Sexy. And it's hard. Tank, I'm going to buy that album. Your last album was great. You, you sh Hopefully you outdo yourself. But this is amazing. I throw this record on real quick and hit him with a. Been thinking about you all. Thinking about you feel like foreplay. I'm gonna do whatever you say, sexy. Been without you gone four days. Don't know how much that I won't take. If it's mine and baby, don't play sexy. So we're 
probably call smoke and stay in the If we can back it up, we make millions. Have to have some of the cash up in the ceiling. Type of shit you got be other niggas and they feel it. Type of shit you got good every real nigga will have. All I do is trip about the way you look when you ain't got no makeup on. And there you have it, 101.9. That was brand new by my man Tank. That album is coming out this Friday. Don't forget to pick that up. That's all I got. Shut up, man. All right, there. Uh, Maul, you got something? Yeah. Come on, Maul. Play something to make me want to rob somebody. Nah. nah, nah. Or fucking shoot somebody. Not this week. Yeah, not this week, he says. This nigga Maul don't know not a lick of R&B. All right, this is uh, this is K Forest, brand new from Grenades and Fireworks. Hmm. It's K Forest. This one's called, called "Kill You." It's a hard rap name. It's called Link. You played K Forest before, right? Rory yeah. made a song called Link before. <laughs> man, I don't even know anymore. Man. <laughs> I just uh... what? she got every time oh. bang one of those. Wow. Hook her on the team, bang She a little button for the cameras We got every kind that you need You to bang with us You can bang, you can bang with us You can bang, you can bang with us You can bang, you can bang, you can bang Couple cactus forward in that Panama Summertime, she need lotion with that aloe vera she remind me of that cocaine Speaking Spanish, play Selena Now she got a new demeanor I stay searching for that federally Cause my click is clicked up with Sudanese and Somali All the way from Haiti, South Passe to J.A. It's a good Friday, okay, I'm about to link with Diddy You been glowing, but I told you not to act like you got it Cause they preach to see what you got in deposit I can't leave without it the mood off the counter, I've been bought it, I've been bought it So don't act like you got it, I feel it She got every time, cause she bang one of us Hook her on the team, bang She a little button for the cameras We got every time that you need it bang with us You can bang, you can bang with us You can bang, you can bang with us You can bang, you can bang she bang with us She turned dangerous Yeah We know the runs already Cause that's game to us Okay, I'm here to fill the void And you act going, oh, I know they're gonna jump for joy 
Man, I'm moving for you. Y'all have to dead the course. Uh, I'm, I'm sick of everybody feeling a void. <laughs> I don't want niggas to stop saying that. Alright, go ahead. We don't never give our real names. Put her on, I put her on the team. Stack, stack, money like, like your Cardi B. Uh, she got every time, cause she bang with us. Hook her on the team, bang. She got a little button for the cameras. Uh, we got every time that you need. Need to bang with us. You can bang, you can bang with us. You can bang, you can bang with us. You can bang. K Forest, it's called Link. Shouts to K Forest. I have a few questions. About what? You could bang with us, it's not getting her to Link. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if she's into that sort of thing. I feel like Dave East is definitely saying that to the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably Lincoln, though. They're Lincoln. <laughs> you could bang with us. <laughs> bitches can't wait to bang with Davies. <laughs> Y'all such hoes. Any, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Why bitches is hoes? No bang for that dick? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, you got to do it for the pussy challenge. Come on, man. <laughs> what you mean I got to do it? Come on, please. Why I got to do it? Just tell me why I got to do it. <laughs> but I have mad reasons why you have to do it. <laughs> but, but, I mean, because you're cool. I'm trying to stay and this that way, is, bro. But no, but this is how the cool kids now are having fun. Listen to your sales pitch. <laughs> yeah, that sales pitch is trash. Well, what do you do for fun? Uh, not this shit. Not for and we always shit. joke around about you writing a verse. <clears throat> this is the one? Want me to write it? Nah. I'm writing it for Sin. <laughs> I don't even know why you Sin about the body for the dick. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude. Wait, why does Sin want to do for the dick? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, well, nobody's girl is saying that. Oh. I had to talk to Sin. How you look at your nigga and say, I want to do for the dick? <laughs> you pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right. Was that all of them? No, I got... That seemed uh, a little short. I got Sonder. You got to kill it record. now. We done waited too long. <laughs> yeah, anticipating. Uh, this is Sonder, One Night Only. I'm flying out for the weekend. I'll be calling you when I lay. That Stop this. That is a lie. That is a lie. He is not flying out for the weekend and calling her when he lands. That is situated way before the fly out. And if he's doing that, he's way more gangster than all of us. He that, couldn't hit her with a I'm, uh, I'm in your city? And, hey, you getting dubbed. That's too risky of a move, by the way. Yeah. Especially if you think you're staying with her. I'm never staying with her. Not doing it for the pussy. Sweet. Bitch is crispy trash. <laughs> Nah, they be having nice beds, though. I don't know. I don't think so. All my old bitches' beds was trash. <laughs> they all got that same frame, too. You know the frame. <laughs> you pictured it in your head when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> we now, I got mad jokes over his record. Let me shut up. Wait, hold up. We got to rewind him. <laughs> What's funny, though, all you uh, bartender hoes that bought the same bedroom set, y'all got to chill. Like, y'all room be way too clean to have the same bedroom set as all the other hoes. That shit is trash. <laughs> y'all know the one, the mirrored fucking, mm-hmm. yep. the mirrored uh, end tables, the fucking mirrored fucking bitches hanging mirrors up everywhere now. I don't know where they got that shit from, but it ain't but about $2,500. <laughs> they ain't fool nobody with mirrors. You put the mirrors on shit look it's expensive. Been a lot for twenty five hundred. Yes. All right, I'm shut up. Have you when I go? Next week it might be Japan. I know you've been thinking about me, thinking about me, kind of just to think about me, thinking about me, thinking about me. I know you've been thinking about me.
So let me get this straight. <laughs> he want us to believe that he flew there without calling, but yeah, there's did, a phone ringing one, right? in the beat. He couldn't even finish the song <laughs> without calling this bitch. <laughs> now you want me to believe that you gangster enough to just land on a, yo, what's really? <laughs> yo, I'm here. One night only. Every nigga can't pull off the, yo, I'm here, what's good? Actually, who could pull that off? I couldn't pull it off either. Whatever. Bro, do you realize if they go to 280 characters, you know what, Trump? This oh, is yeah. going to be so bad. Wait, are they saying that that's what they're doing? That's Twitter what they're announced doing. they're going to try it with a few people. Oh, my God. You know God. Trump is the first on that fucking list. Too. I think God we should lower it. it. I think 140 is too much. I agree. <laughs> I was about to say 280. Now I get got to read mad, more stupid thoughts of stupid people. I'm blocking anyone that goes over 140. Isn't that the point of that little thread thing now? Right. You could just read it right. through the thread so I could skip a whole rant. Well, okay. Tay is saying that she has a birthday video of you, and Uh-oh. she's dying to share it, but she won't at the moment. Can you tell me what it is she has? No. But do you know what she has? Yes. Will I laugh at it? Yes. Will she text it to me? <laughs> no. So I'll never see Will it. Will you text it to us? <laughs> <laughs> no. Can we at least tell us what it is? At least? At least? Yeah. Nah, Airdrop it? No, no, no. It's just, it's just a video of when we was uh, in Detroit. Oh, yeah. That's funny already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We was playing um, uh, charades. So what, what, what were you I'm doing? I'm about to edge my seat, by what, the way. What were you she, doing? She just caught me just, you know. Yo, let's get that other. Uh... Dan- dancing in a way I shouldn't have been dancing. You got T-Rexed? Wait. No. <laughs> No, do you I, dance? What? Yeah. Da- do, I, do I know how to dance? Yeah, nigga. Like, what dances do you do? I don't know. I have <laughs> rhythm. I don't know how to dance. If you don't know, then you can't dance. dance I don't nigga. know the names for, for dancers. I, I have how do you rhythm. know you can dance? If you have rhythm. rhythm. What are you talking about? You're black. Exactly. That's not answering my question. My question is, you know how to dance? Like, dance moves? Like, are you going to hit the Roger Rabbit or some shit? <laughs> Showing your uh, age, yeah. bro. <laughs> I'm from that era, yeah. Okay. All right. So she just she's been always been. I'm gonna find this video. This video. I am. It's nothing crazy. I'm not like uh, naked doing some wild shit. If it were <coughs> you naked, I wouldn't be in search of the video. <laughs> I'm not. I'm getting out of here. This nigga just made it weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Not like it's not like crazy. No, this it's podcast like, is over, man. I don't want nobody. No, no, we man. got it. It's over. Next week, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your energy, energy. Hey, it's coming through. Took me a century, a century. Hey, to get next to you. Plus, Mason and Mason invested in you. So, I feel your energy, energy. invested for you. I never read the 48 line. The power to do, she make a grown man cry. The day I came up, pop my mama, I saw a grown man cry. They say it has magic powers, even magic ain't die. Wake your body to sleep and take a 3M car ride. He said the booty, only thing between him and God. They love the booty, sacrifice their family and job. Bash make police feel powerful in the hood. Guns make us feel powerful, but they don't do no good. I know my blackness powerful, and they don't like that. I know some niggas so dead. Sit back and watch them tap dance. Bombs over Baghdad to have a flag to brag about. Don't make you a big boy, cause you got a nice stack. Carolina home, boy, you know we keep a stack house. It's power when you know the game. I'm feeling like a champ now. I went to rap rap. Homie, get out of the trap house. I want the power to be able to rap about what I rap about. Black child, God loving textiles. Point blank, death smile. Steph Curry projectile. I saw the gold from eight miles. Every stone you threw, I picked it up and built a powerhouse. Caught a case. I got murder in my profile. Niggas still billing me. See, that's just the appeal of me. Respect on my name. Why y'all niggas so emotional? Power. I feel your energy. Hey, it's coming through. It's coming through. Took me a century. Hey, to get next to you. Plus Mason and Mason. Invested in you. So I feel your energy. Invested pursuit. Uh, power up with the word. I got it from my God. 
He said a good shepherd don't trip over what they heard. Let them talk the talk until the night you choose to go and purge. I came in when the rest of you struggled and failed to flourish. Conversations with the blurs. She said I'm good as herbs. Get them high, get them high from the hood to the suburbs. No one can take your power even if a storm occurred. It ain't man-made, but whether or not you pay don't help or hurt. It's a perk. Jam the squad written on my shirt. I got a lane, but all the lines around me die that I can merge. I can do what you can, but you can't do the same with words as I. And watch my street cred go multiply. They say the streets respect the real ones. The one is really die. It's just me and young blood. It's where I get all of my power. The night I got a chain from Mr. Flyers. I gave it back when I got done rapping the same hour. I ain't 5%. Let's be talking to top MCs. And I'm in the top of that. The rest beneath me all cowards. When it spits, look around. It's meteor shots. I watch the stars fall, fall, fall. Yeah, this is what you call power. <laughs> Let's talk about power. Let's talk about yours and ours to pay the allowance. Let's talk about 100,000 kids raving and bouncing, craving and drowning in words the day I pronounce it. Let's talk about power. Let's talk about doers and donors. The house I built when I was homeless and sleeping in corners. Sharing Coronas and Blackie Mouse, Donuts and El Caminos, talking loud, scraping and combing, residue every morning, talk about legacy. Let's talk about the life of celebrity versus integrity. Curse the first one that thirst for necessity. Searching for equity versus the earth that birthed us indefinitely. First the verse I wrote in jeopardy. Surfing the laws of the universe and destiny. Church and a god is all that's ever been ahead of me. Uh. Let's talk about my power, the golden showers. Running to be on your cameras and store counters. He's bananas, competitor, we can dance. Sees the damage, no more for it, peed his pants. My second LP had real niggas on Polish lawn. My seven trophies just set my grannies in heaven's arms. I'm in Jamaica like Wagwan, my feet is out. My hair is long and pot white coming from my mouth. Me, I go outdoors, it's time to bless up Aaron. No, 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 no. Good boy, me, I worry about it fearless. I shot niggas to shot movies 10 years later. Dear God, why you show me so much favor amongst the haters and wickedness? wickedness. Deliver the child from evil convictions and frivolous. frivolous. Debates about who's the permanent MC of the millennium. millennium. And it's all for the Benjamins. Uh -huh. And I'm all of y'all nemesis. Right. And I'm all in our happy. None of y'all can fathom who Kendrick is. The only one they ever did wrote Book of Genesis. Motherfucker, that's power. <laughs> Thank you.